How's it going, people? Welcome back to. Why is the order like this? What's going on? Yeah, you need to switch that up. It's weird. This is a mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. I'm yeah. Tough, man. yeah, get get get, 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 get down here. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> we're in a game of football, and, football and you're up there like get down, get down. <laughs> uh, we're good people we, we're good we're good we're good i hope everyone's all well 2.4k waiting apologies for the delay obviously there was a chelsea game matisse does his review after so i'll big him up for um managing to come on when he did obviously bear in mind that review make sure you subscribe to the individual channels people and it's a special one today a special request because it's been a while well, since we've seen a couple of faces on the show and and their channel links are in the description below as well and um, big up big steve and fuad um you two good all good yeah bro. man good. good good to be back great week to be back. <laughs> yeah yeah fuad. i've seen a few clips do i can't lie but yeah we're gonna get into it all people obviously um there's a I was about to say international break coming up, FA Cup weekend coming up. So that's the last Premier League action at the top anyway. Is anyone playing this weekend in Premier League? Any of us? No. no. FA, Cup. FA, FA Cup and then yeah. yeah, Champions League tomorrow. You know what I mean? You must. Oh, we that's must. It. Yeah, we definitely must. must. Yeah, yeah. we'll talk about that when it's time to talk about us. Mm. Don't worry, my guy. Don't worry, my guy. Um, but yeah, like I said, big up Steve Fuad right back in the building, Matisse, Grizz, Saeed, as always. And um, big up Hugh and Tobes. Um, they couldn't make it today, so big them up same way. And let's get into it, man. 3.3k here now. Hit the like button. Let's get up to our thousand likes. Manscaped, the sponsor, TB620 is the code for 20% off. So show some love to them as well, people. They help us do the pre recorded content. And don't forget, memberships is open memberships is open little delay on the discord but that's coming real soon we just need to get it spick and span ready for the launch and whatnot we can't just do it half fast so yeah big up everyone that become a member on the last show big up everyone becoming members now i see you and yeah let's get into it um liverpool won city one grizz home team probably the team that should have taken it when you're looking at the 90 minutes and the the team that well a lot of fans feel were robbed after the results, yeah, so look, there's first, quite a lot to get into. First and foremost, um, Ramadan Mubarak to everyone who's uh, observing it today. I may sound a bit extra tired than normal. <laughs> you already know the first one's a killer. Uh, so, yeah, massive, massive Mubarak to all the Muslims who are celebrating all around the world. Hope this month brings you peace, prosperity, calmness, you know what I mean? And um, so that's what uh, that's out of the way. Yeah, on top of that, I've, I don't know about Steve, Steve. Was you at the game this one? Was you at? Was, yeah. Did you go this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't go to this one, and I'm and I'm still tired. I just about recovered, man. Good game. I, I don't give a shit about the comments because this is where they start going. Oh, this uh, unfriendly rivalry, where blah 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 blah. I'll say it again, and I've been consistently saying it for the last five six years. This is one of the best games in Europe, hands down. This is always one of the best games. Not just the Anfield one, but the Liverpool Man City game. This was no different, man. Um, you guys already know. Um, I had a little bit, a bit of insight into the team news, and when I put it in the group, you look like, oh, oh, you are in trouble today. Like all to a man. So none of you lot can deny that they were like, shit, Mohamed Salah not playing, Konate out. I didn't say a word. Game. You did say a word. Let me check. No, yeah, you've you managed. You've you've imagined this. You you no, put no, the you lineup mean... in, and 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 nobody nobody said anything about the, you the team. No, Everyone no. said Turkish said, "Yeah, this is looking peak for you." Toby was like, "Yeah." Oh yeah, I, 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 yeah. I admit that. Yeah, that's I, what I mean. I, I did. I did. I didn't say anything. You've been saying in your streams, and people. This, this is this is at, no. This is Anfield. This is Anfield. No, this is Anfield. Never said it. Never said a word. Anfield. I, with, City only, is, only won there once under Pepper. This is Anfield with Kelleher, Kwanzaa, Bradley. Do you know these guys? Have you heard of these guys even? Yes, but anyway, forget that. More they can't believe. We lost to them in the forget, cup final. Forget, oh, yeah, you do know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Massive game of emotions. It's always an emotional roller coaster. Before the start of the game, if you offered me a point, I was, <laughs> I was saying I would take a point. At the end of the game, I was like, shit. So the emotion roller coaster is, this is, this is what it does to fandom. The opening 15 minutes was scary, I'm not going to lie. I thought, I thought they're going to bop us off the pitch. This will be very, very long. Everything that we didn't want to do, i.e. give Kevin De Bruyne and Foden space, 
it was happening. They were picking off passes. It was like oceans of space. And at the time, you panic. You think to yourself, I can't see how we're going to get back into the game. Just when we do start getting back into the game, and it was Bradley and Elliot, the young, uh, the young guns that actually got us, you know, with a couple of tackles on silver, got us back in the game. They go and score that goal. Uh, brilliantly worked goal. From the TV, obviously, you can't tell if it's in or not, but obviously you can tell when they're celebrating that it's a goal. Quickly taken corner by, by Kevin De Bruyne at Anfield, yeah? So that is what it is. You have to accept it. Brilliantly worked move. But then we grew into the game. We absolutely grew into the game. Um, couple of chances in the first half. And then at halftime, we know we're second half FC. Carl Walker said before the game that if he wins the toss, he's going to make us kick towards the cop in the first half so we don't have the momentum and all that in the second half. That's how it panned out. But my God, it was it was great to see from a Liverpool fan point of view, guys. I'm going to celebrate a 1-1 draw. It's mad. Wow. I'm going to be a hypocrite. Wow. I know, I know. Turkish, you're smiling. I know. Wow. You, you know, everyone's celebrating one-one no. draws. I know. Yeah, I'm going to be a hypocrite. I don't think you're allowed. Genuinely. I'm allowed today. It's Ramadan. No, no, I don't think so. No, no, so. please. Allow <laughs> me. I'm going to celebrate. I know you. I know, I know. It's fine. I'll take it. You guys know. If I give it, I can take it. I'm going to celebrate one-one draw for a variety of reasons. I'm not going to say one-one draw. I'm not going to celebrate, but I'm going to take great pride in it. Because the way we turned it around, you could see Mohamed Salah was 60% fit when he came on. You know, he hardly sprinted. But um, shout out some of the players, man. Um, and I don't even think it's the players. I think only Jurgen Klopp can get a bunch of squad players motivated like that and charged up for a game like that um, the way he does. And that second half showing, the world saw that with an average age side of 25, how it's looking moving forward. Um, Harvey Elliott. It was so, I was, you know what, I was beaming with a, a massive smile on my face because um, Bernardo Silva was on the pitch. And you guys know what I think of Bernardo Silva. Absolute, I hate him with a passion, but I think he's one of the best, most underrated Premier League players of recent times. That's how highly I rate him. I actually think people don't rate Bernardo Silva enough when it comes to elites. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Do you get it? Like, it, of yeah. course, people rate him, but they don't rate him as, as much as I think. And I saw so much in Harvey Elliott's game. So Harvey Elliott's not even turned 21 yet. Fact check me this time, boys, in the chat. I know you're going to come for me, but I've got my... This time I checked it. I think he's not turned 21. Or maybe he's turned 21. Oh, dear. But Harvey... Oh, oh come dear. On, Have you done it already? Have you done it already? Matisse, check, Matisse, check, man. VAR 21. Check on that one. Max 21. Max. Harvey um, Elliott. Um, oh, he's 20. 20. Wow, yes, you're getting away with that one. <laughs> right. I've been preparing this Ramadan. I've been preparing. Um, I thought, I thought, watching His him on that pitch. His birthday is the 4th of April, so you've got, you got two weeks. <laughs> two, two weeks to celebrate 20. But um, the lad, the kid on the pitch, yeah, man, um, with giants of the game like Kevin De Bruyne, Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Foden. You know, you, you, I've been defending Foden when you were gunning for him. I think Foden on that pitch, Foden's 25 now as well. This kid was 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 um, was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I thought our energy, our pressing, and normally when we play City, it's all about it's always spoken about oh how City are going to play all the football, and we have to our midfield has to just outwork them and then wait for a counter attack from Mane, Bobby, or Salah. It's always been like that. We've never never outplayed them in a in terms of passing football from the back, building up, breaking lines, all of that controlled possession or more possession even. I think it's the first time, Liverpool fans, let me know if you disagree. I think it's the first time I've seen Man City outplayed by Liverpool in terms of in the midfield. And that is huge for me. That's why I was smiling. The result, the result is the result, but the braveness to play like that without five, six first teamers held in good stand. Uh, good stead. Go on, Ford. What was you going to say? I was going to say, you see that midfield performance you spoke about, and that super chat there is actually kind of perfect. How big of a role did Endo play? Because I feel like um, oh, when yeah. he signed, of course, it was yo know, Endo to Enzo. It was all the jokes and everything. And 30-year-old coming from Bundesliga, but the way he's kind of month to month kind of settled in, adjusted to the game plan, the way he's caught up to speed now. He almost looks like one of the first names on the team sheet. In the I wish I could share my screen. I wish I could. I'm, I'm not logged into my Twitter on here. Yeah. I wish I could share my screen. I apologised to his account. I added him. 
Mm. And like people are laughing because I added Endo. I said, my brother, I want to apologize to you. Football is truly a humbler. I doubt, uh, how dare I doubt you? Like I did. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to suddenly sit here and say, yo, I knew Endo from Stuttgart. I knew he's a baller. I knew he's this. I knew he's that. I said, I said, people in the know, shout out Andy Brassel, uh, shout out Kevin Hatchard, all these guys that came on my channel um, that watch far more German football than me, said, you're going to be, you guys are going to be singing his praises within six months. And here we are. Six months later, singing his praises. Again, totally proved me wrong. Sh proved, what do I know about football? Absolutely numpty me because I didn't rate him. I thought, Endo, I thought he'd be a good squad James Milner type signing. But as you say, Fuad, he put in a he put in an absolute brilliant brilliant job. You guys know what I think of Rodri. I think, of Rodri, I, think I think Rodri is the most important player yeah. in club football to his team. That's how highly I rate Rodri. And this guy was sensational in midfield. And um, yeah, man, beaming smile, good football, tired, emotional roller coaster. I'm sure Steve will tell you about his side of the emotions as well. These games are so tiring to watch. Never mind imagine playing these kind of games. The, the pace was frantic. And it's not just pace. It's not just like British, you know, everyone talks about the British game, high pace, running everyone everywhere, energy tackles. No, the levels of technique involved playing at that, that game at that speed is second to none. And shout out pretty much everyone. Virgil babysitting that back four, like literally not one of his regular partners in that back five, the keeper and the other three players, uh, Trent, Canate, Robertson, no, but Virgil was like he's been pretty, pretty much throughout the season. Um, immaculate, immaculate performance. Yeah, we can talk about the, the decision at the end. Mike Oliver is the best referee. I thought he had a fantastic game. There is no conspiracy against Liverpool. There is no bias against Liverpool. It wasn't a conspiracy. They're not out to get Liverpool. But that was the most obvious penalty decision that wasn't given this season. That wasn't given. Um, swings and roundabouts. People are comparing it to a drop ball last week. Yeah, fair enough. Good luck, people. You're comparing it to a drop ball. Good luck. Because I've been having, yeah, yeah, you got a drop ball last week with a keeper. You know, should have got the ball. All right. All right. No problem. We had a drop ball. But yeah, man. Um, great game of football. Absolute top of the table clash. Leaves it madly exciting, like I said. And this finale is going to be next level. This this ending to the season. I don't know. Turkish, you know I said if we beat them, it's the first time I'm going to think we become favourites. At the end of the day, we didn't beat them. So I still make City favourites as a result. But it makes it exciting. And next week's... In, not next week. When do you play them, Steve? Uh, hey, Arsenal? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Twenty yeah, yeah, that, long that game in two weeks, two weeks or three weeks? Three weeks, basically. It's, it's the thirty first. It's, it's, it's a break. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. That, yeah. that game sets it up so good, and hopefully I can relax and watch it if we've done the job against Brighton at home, because Brighton have been tricky against us. But yeah, man, that's pretty much as much as I can remember, bruv. Because it's been a blur before. Just before we moved to Man City, I was going to say, uh, what about uh, Diaz in the second half? Because I felt like he had almost like them type of games where, bro, he did everything right but score. Yeah, yeah. Like, and when you see, do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is with Diaz, yeah? Like two huge Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Like, games, 100%. Don't get me wrong. Players can step up. Don't get me wrong. I was crazy swearing at him. <laughs> <laughs> like you he wasn't... Lucky like wasn't... Yeah, wait. Yeah, people wanted to kidnap his dad. I wanted to kidnap Luis Diaz. Joke, people, before people start getting serious. I, <laughs> I, I was cursing him like mad. But then you calm down. You think, not every day compare him to Sadio Mane. Because mm. automatically our attentions go, Mane, that's where Mane was the big game player. Sadio Mane is one of the great Premier League players. You're not going to get a Sadio Mane every week do you know what i mean uh every story season or every decade you know luis diaz is luis diaz and in the cold light of day anyone that doesn't give up to the did you see until the 98th 99th minute where he's running and i haven't seen carl walker run ragged like that mm. for a long long time this is carl walker that's pocketed mbappe vinicius jr all of these guys no Ster sterling's running ragged twice this season 
to be honest. Really? Yes. Yeah, so Walker, 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 Walker this season. Walker like this season that? is is dropping. He's dropping. Yeah, like yeah. That? He's dropping. Oh, yeah, okay. yes, enough, like that. Enough. Yes, fair trust, enough. If you trust. if you've seen that, <laughs> if you've seen that, I haven't seen that. I thought Luis Diaz was was like Fuad says, magnificent. Apart from the finishing, so you can't call him magnificent. I get it, um, but I, but the guy is is runs forever and keeps going, keeps going. So I'm um, anyone who doesn't give up and doesn't shy away, you gotta praise them. He doesn't shy away from the ball just because he's having mm. a shit game. He keeps going. He still keeps going. Of course, of course, in the back of your head, you're thinking Jota puts one of those, at least one of those away, nicely, cold. But it is what it is. A uh, fantastic game of football. Really enjoyed it, watching it back. Didn't enjoy it while I was watching it live. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Top of the We needed a win. I told you guys, we needed a win. We needed to put four-point cushion before they play Arsenal for me to call us favourites. I still don't. I still think City just favourites. But it's one of those old, old cliches in it that some people hate. If you offered me this at the start, March... At the start of the season, if March we were one point ahead of City and and level with Arsenal, game, ten games to go, would they play next game? I would have fucking taken your hands, your arms, your legs, everything, your head. I would have just let you guys alive. Never mind, take you. You know what I mean? So yeah, it is what it is. We go again. Let's just enjoy the end of the season because I think it's going to be a cracker. Steve, you, do you still feel like favourites? Listen, it it is what it is. We just know what we 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 know what we do. And that's it. If people want to label us favourites, label us favourites. You want to write us off, write us off. But we know what we do. And at the end of the day, um, Anfield, with our record, a draw, it is what it is. We're taking it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I thought we started well. I thought the downfall of us was ourselves. I thought Rodri giving the ball away. I thought Alvarez giving the ball away. I thought Bernardo Silva trying to do back heels and flicks, giving the ball away. If you don't give the ball away, Liverpool ain't getting the ball. So we keep the ball well. We play our own game. Kevin De Bruyne got, got taken off because he wasn't getting the ball. No one was giving him the ball. We had to change formation. Um, I feel like first half, going in at half time, I was relaxed. I went down underneath and people's like, what do you think? I said, it was okay. I said, we're winning 1-0. I said, what we've got to do is now come out second half and make sure we don't do anything stupid. Try and keep the ball, pass it around well, don't be sloppy, let Liverpool press us. Because I thought Liverpool were pressing us really tight, but every now and then we were breaking and getting a little chance. So my idea was, right, play it cool. 90 seconds into the second half, fucking Laurel and Hardy on the left-hand side, Ake to Edison. Edison just booted him. Why Edison did just stay on his feet and try and push him wide? Because I'm not being funny. Darwin ain't scoring from that angle there. He's not. He's not scoring. So... Anyway, it happened, and that's it then. And then I tell you what City did. They let the crowd, the crowd got back up on top. I've said it before. If you can control the tempo at Anfield, you can control the crowd. City scored, went flat. Yeah. Liverpool put a few mad challenges in. Harvey Elliott and that running round, putting their pressure on and that. They, they were getting the crowd up. And then City would have a little chance and the crowd would drop flat. But we, get, we let the crowd get back into it. Rodri's arguing with Walker. Um, Bernardo's running around trying to trip people up because his heads fell off. Young Alvarez is playing left wing. Um, he's giving the ball away. And, and then you could sense it was just going to shit. So credit to Pep because he changed it. He took De Bruyne off, who was the passenger. He put Foden up front, did a 4-4-2, Kovacic. And Liverpool should have won it. Um, Diaz got through so many times. He should have won it. I've got to give credit to Ortega coming on in a game like that as a substitute goalkeeper and fucking performing that how he did. Safe. That Nunes save. You know? Yeah, brilliant save. But in the first half, oh. you watch the first 20 minutes, uh, Keller's, every ball was long to Nunes. They were trying to sit were pressing well. So we did some things well and we did other things wrong. Um, but I believe we were sloppy. But then let's not forget, Jeremy Doku, yeah? He could have been the hero. He hits the inside of the post. It bounces back to Keller. Could have won the game. Goes up the other end, does that stupid tackle. In the ground, it looked like a pen. I thought it's pen, million percent penalty. I've seen it again. If it give, if, it, if it's given as a penalty, I can't argue with it because it, it's one of them. If it happens to us, we're all having it. I've seen a few saying today, oh, in the letter of the law, he's too close. He can't move his foot and all this. I don't care. It's gone. It's a draw. But at the end of the day, what I did sense from the game, as soon as they blew the final whistle, 
a sense of relief from both sides. I think both sides was happy with it. Both sets of players seem to just think, OK, uh, that's it. But at the end of the day, it's a draw. It's a draw. Um, it, we didn't play well and got a draw at Anfield. Um, Liverpool did well. And we're still in the title race, you know what I mean? But people, I like it when people try and write us off. And I like it when people want to talk. I've seen things today about Rodri and that. Rodri's played 61 consecutive games and, and, and not been beat. 61. Well, who, who said what about Rodri? No, I've seen some paper articles saying, like, he's showing you Rodri fight and Kyle Walker fighting with Diaz. And he was like, oh, oh. this is this and this is this. But at the end of the day, you know, it, you, you can't come for them players. You know, Kevin De Bruyne did, did the assist. He never got on the ball, Kevin. He was nowhere near it. Haaland was... Uh, Roger was the worst player on the part for giving the ball away. Haaland uh, looked like he's, he, he was leggy to me. Didn't get involved in the press. Didn't come deep. Yeah. He, there was one ball what, sitting not long and Van Dyke was behind him. And Van Dyke just stepped in front of him and chested it and walked away with the fucking ball. Didn't even pull him, grab him. And that's when I thought, nah, man. Do you know what I mean? But listen, I'm putting it down to a bad day at the office. The crowd was great. I thought the atmosphere was brilliant in there. And second half, we rolled our luck. So I'm taking it. I come out of the ground and I thought, you know what? It's not a bad point now. You know what I mean? It's you, not a bad do you point. Think it's a, do you think it's a reverse of emotions with me? So I was like, oh, man, I'll take a point. And at the end of the day, I was like, nah, man, we should have got three. Where you probably looked at the team and said, we got a win here today. This is our best chance. Yeah, I thought and then a take a Yeah. Win. The, the emotions were we reversed. I thought we were we, we were calm under pressure first half. I thought that, that the onus is on Liverpool to come out second half and go for it. But I thought if we kept the ball well, I've seen City keep the ball for five, six minutes and no one touch it. And I thought, let's keep the ball well. Let them press deep. Let the crowd get a bit like putting pressure on. Maybe we can snatch one on the break. Because Foden got through again, tried to put it through Keller's legs and Keller saved it. That could have been a goal. So... There was a few chances we had, but we went at the races and the lot, I thought longer the game goes on. Listen, another 10 minutes that game goes on, we get beat because we were we were on our arse near the end there. And at the end of the day, it, it you know, it is what it is. I'm taking it, the point. We it was, it on. was, it was, it was the script. Like, you know, the usual, the Anfield uh, momentum players losing their head. Like um, Arteta called it like they put you in a washing machine. He, he, he compared it to last week. Yeah. And, uh, Pep said it's like a tsunami. Doku hasn't played in one of these games, right? All the most most of the others have, right, Steve? In fact, yeah. yeah. I think Doku's the only one who hasn't played in this atmosphere. And it was perfect. He's the one who lost his head at the end. Because he just missed a chance up the other end, hits the post. And then in the penalty area. Do you know what happened know. though? Because Doku had that chance. The last 10 minutes, Liverpool. Had to drop back a little bit because they thought, you know what, he might, he might not Don't be the best. On the break. Yeah. If he gets us on the break, he's getting us here. So it, Pep gave him something to think about, and then Kovacic came on old head in the midfield, settled it down a little bit. They went two in there, four four two, and we were looked a little bit better near the end. But I just, you know what, I really enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the game of football. I could finally see at Anfield that shit stand with a fucking snide roof that you can't see is fucked off. So you I loved could, it, really. See. Loved it. People no rain see. on your bald head. You liked it, really. Shining. The club lights were shining on my head. Yeah, <laughs> you loved it, really. The fucking toilets you've got there. I've been to. I've been some grounds, me, yeah, in League One, League Two. But the fucking toilets in that new stand are atrocious, mate. Can you tell me next time, please? I can sort you out with a hospitality ticket so you don't have to fucking it's use fucking the shit. toilets. Fucking man shit like you there, using man. them toilets. It's embarrassing, you know man. Like you, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna fix you out. I'm going to fix you up next time. <laughs> But um, no, listen, it was a good game of football. And you know what? We came out talking to a couple of Scouse kids on the way through Stanley Park and they were saying the same. They went, in games like that, you, your nerves are on your nerves. You can't oh, switch mate. off. There's one minute you, it's at your end and you're thinking, fucking defend. And then next minute it's up that end. And then you're you like, have you know to what? be what? emotionally involved in these games to know what we're talking about. I know we're just hyping up and people think, oh, whatever, man. There's big games everywhere. It's honestly. honestly it's ridiculous. Uh, you know what? And I, look how much I, football I, we've I, seen. I there's two grounds, yeah, in the world, yeah, where you can be sat in a stand and think, we ain't fucking losing this. And in 15 minutes, your fucking world just ends, yeah? One is Anfield. I've seen it. Comfortable on the ball. Man City are going to piss it. 15 minutes later, they're fucking screaming. 
You know that horrible scow scream you've heard it, haven't you? It's like a cackle, yeah. It's like a yeah. Just just call that. just call J just let's get James Redmond on. We know you know that one, the James like Redmond, Redmond one. Yeah. <laughs> Once you hear that scream, it goes next one, <laughs> down. And the other the other ground is Real Madrid. I've experienced it myself. One minute away from fucking meeting Grizz in Paris for a coffee before the Champions League final, and then fucking all hell broke loose, and then we're out. So. Listen, a point at Anfield for a Manchester City fan is a good result, let me tell you that. Steve, did, did Pep explain why he dropped Diaz for this game? In my personal opinion, um, the way we've been playing, uh, when Stones goes into midfield, it leaves Diaz exposed to a one-on-one. -on -one. And I think with Darwin Nunes' pace, I think what he wanted was a Kanji up tight and personal with him. And I think a Kanji did a great job. He dropped off when he needed to drop off. He was close to him and he needed his close. I think Ruben sometimes can get caught in the emotion, you know, like the siege mentality, like steaming in. And I think yeah. if, if you turn him he, 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 and he ain't, catch, he ain't catching you because he's not the fastest. So I didn't really mind that. I didn't mind it. The, the left side was a, was a problem. Obviously, to play Alvarez, who's not a left winger, on the left, um, he must have had a plan. But he gave the ball away. Once Liverpool sensed that if we press him, he panics. He kept giving the ball away, and then basically it was it was mad. But fair play to Pep near the end. He brought on Kovacic and uh, and changed it around and Doku and, and and listen, we we didn't get beat. So for me, you know, it's a positive out of the game. But Edison's injured now. I mean, Edison's one crazy bastard anyway. We know that. To to just go and boot someone, it didn't even it was nowhere near the ball. He just booted him. It was just no. He should have slid. At least if you slide, he could go over him and think, well, fair enough. He just booted him and injured himself. It's he injured himself. Weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick up for Nunes. I thought, without scoring, and without his usual partners like you know Jota and Salah and whatnot, I thought he's up against some great players there: Akanji, Walker, uh, Stones, and Ake. <laughs> and it was pretty much a one-man battering team because Harvey Elliott's not really a forward. You know, he was just making up the not making up the numbers. He was magnificent, but he that's not his position. Um, and he's not the quicker, so we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't get players in and around Nunes. But I thought Nunes played like a proper number nine. He, proper he, number he, nine. He, he put the two DS he, shots on the plate, didn't he? He occupied the yeah. whole back well, was pretty Salah. much on his own. Yeah. I know Luis Diaz was having his uh, personal battle with Walker, drifting in, drifting out, whatever. Mm. But I thought Nunes was a problem, problem, problem. He was far more active than I thought than Haaland was on the other side. Um, and, you know, you can see Nunes' game getting better and better and better. He actually didn't get any chances himself. But like Fuad says, he set up Luis Diaz two, three times, man. And that side of the game's improving in him. I thought it was really encouraging from, from, from Nunes' point of view as well. But yeah, gutted at the end. Gutted at the end. But at the start of the game, with our lineup, I would have taken a point. So mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. Um, Edison injury. How how much do you think that will affect you? Well, it's, it's international break as well, so he won't be we, out for the we longest. Are, but... We are quite lucky that Ortega is a good goalkeeper. He deserves to be a number yeah. one somewhere. You know what I mean? Every time he's coming, I think last year the FA Cup didn't concede a goal all the way through um, until the end last game. He, he, I think against Luton last time he, he hadn't conceded a goal there. City fans are confident. Years ago we'd have the Caballero. And uh, Zach Stefan, it was a massive drop off. But Ortega, um, I don't think nobody's, he's not as good as Edison uh, on the ball, but shot stopping, goalkeeping wise, Ortega's, he, he should be a number one for someone. So we're, we're not too worried about him, to be fair. Look at you lot in the WhatsApp chat, telling, trying to get me, you lot fact checking, you know. Look at you lot, man. <laughs> bunch well, of scavengers. What? Bunch of what? scavengers in the chat, in the WhatsApp. Anyway. Quickly, quickly, check, 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 <laughs> you know, something else. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Big up you, man. Big up you. Yeah, here we go. Now, quality game, man. I can't lie to you, man. Hi, Brother Saeed. Yeah. Brother Saeed. Brother Saeed. What? Go man, on. We know, we know, as a Liverpool fan base, we know who's been responsible for our title charge. We know. You haven't been able yeah, to man. raise the spirits and the endeavours of your team. But every hate along that you've done has worked in mm -hmm. our favour. 
we as a Liverpool fan base are oh. disgusted with you for not doing a watch along for this game. We begged you, we implored with you. We said, Brother mm. Saeed, we will give you samosas, biryani, tandoori chicken, yogurt, mint yogurt, everything. Please do a watch along for this game. Let this run continue. Mm. But the bastard didn't do it. <laughs> he didn't do a hate along. And, it, man. and we didn't no. win. Chris, I love the that derby. He lost the derby and he cancelled Mank talk because he had a bad ankle. And an hour later, he was doing a fucking emergency mandem talk, so his ankle got better. <laughs> no, I didn't. 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 Brother, brother Saeed has hurt his ankle. We don't know how. Yeah. He's telling different stories to different people. We don't know how. Do you know how he hurt his ankle? He knocked his fucking wallet on his ankle, the tight bastard. That's how he hurt his ankle, yeah? <laughs> 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 nah, I'm out, man. I'm out. I mean, you know what I mean? The United injury list, man. It's cursed me. It's cursed me. <laughs> I but the now, injury, listen, yeah. I, 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 I genuinely believe if I did that watch along, I think Liverpool would have won because it was just like it needed that one little bit of, you know what I mean? Like that one little bit of luck or push, something. Like generally, push. man, because I generally, when I look at Liverpool, yeah, they battered Man City in the second half. Battered them. When I mean battered them, I mean Diaz. Listen, but like we battered care, you, you know, man, listen. Sorry? Like we battered you last week. Is that how, how much yeah, we listen, battered Yeah, listen, don't worry like about that. that. That's, that's last week, isn't it? You know what I mean? This is oh, the same comparison. Race, like, don't worry about it the same guys. kind of battering as that? No, but it was, though. It was. They battered you second half. And Liverpool deserved to win in my in my eyes. You know what I mean? That's why I'm a bit surprised when, when Grizz is saying, oh, I, was, I took a 1-1 and fair play in the end. I thought... No, at the, no, at the start... At the start, yeah, you, the everyone, start, all Twitter was saying, oh my end. God, Liverpool are getting it today. Look, who's, yeah. this, who's this kids? You know, who are these players? Mm. Everyone to a man was, rival fans were saying, mm. I had Arsenal fans, Man United fans saying, yo, you're getting it today. You're getting it today. So, yeah, yeah. look, that's why I said at the start. Now, you know what it is for me, yeah? People can praise yeah, Diaz for the endeavour or whatnot, but Broski, you need to finish, man. You know what I mean? It's all good and well saying, you know what, he did this to Kyle Walker, he did this, but he had two or three chances on a plate. And in this title race, I'm sorry, that is unforgivable. you got to be scoring at least one of them. Could be the two difference. of them were, 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 he, he's, yeah, a, he's an old it's man as well. He's an old man, grown yeah, man. Yeah, exactly, know, he's 28 now. He's coming he's off as this young 23-year-old yeah, hopscotch. Energetic, no, this brother's he's he's, he's in his prime. Come on, in his prime, and, and got a score, man. You know, other forwards don't get that luxury of just bringing things to the game and you know contributing. Mm. And then when they don't finish, it's a it's a problem. So let's 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 have some standards here. Well, who are you comparing him to? Can you finish, like brother. don't insinuate Daniel shit? Gatto. Can you come with some? Who are you comparing him to? No, I didn't Please say any names, bro. I didn't say any anyone. Name. In I didn't your say club. any names, bro. I just said this is a grown ass man in his prime. What's age? You, you love bringing this age dinner. thing into it, man. You love doing this age ones, man. He's what a grown ass man. We know he's a grown ass man, man. Yeah, but why are you? You wouldn't have. He's missed a couple of chances. It was fantastic. Don't be trying to compare him to like criticizing your man. I see where you're going with this. I see where you're going with this. I don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm I'm watching you. This, I'm this, this, you don't go anywhere. This, this just popped up, so I might as well get it in now because it's on subject. Big up, Robert. Can someone really tell me the difference between Diaz wow. and Nunes and quote Bum Jackson? Grizz just spent five minutes praising Diaz and Nunes for doing a Jackson. Yeah, who yeah great rain. comparison. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Luis Diaz got 12 goals and tell, let me know how many assists people live in the chat because you know I me, mean? I'm not a stats man. And Darwin Nunes has got 26 goals and assists. So yeah, I'm comparing him to Jackson. We're top of the table going in every competition. But yeah, Robert Mugabe, yeah, well done. Another great super chat. Thank you for the contribution as per every fucking week. <laughs> Is that in all comps, yeah? Is that in all comps? I mean, he gets me. He does this to me. Bow, bow. Stop for like Ramadan, man. I don't want to swear. Sorry, Saeed and Fuad, you're supposed to stop me from swearing and cursing. But when I see, when I read stuff like this, when I read stuff like this from Robert Mugabe, no, I have to say something. He's asking me why am I comparing or why am I praising Nunes, right? And Diaz. Right, who most teams would love to have in their teams, at least squads, to action Jackson. Yeah, but where did you get Diaz's? What was your, twelve goals? Yeah, twelve it's goals this six, season. He's got six in the league, nine in the Europa League, two in the nine in the, the Europa League, so three, 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 three in the Europa League. Oh, so oh, nine so total. Nine, nine, nine in those total. comps, and I've got now ten, eleven. 
Where's the eleven where's goals? The other oh, goal? Are you, lo- are you doing this? Sound, sounding fraudulent. Where's the other goal? Are you goals, doing brother? this? One goal, you take one goal. No, no, no. Because you, if you're gonna say statistics up against Jackson, I said, can you check that? I did say I double for the season with way less games and doesn't get to stop pre- in the Europa League against. No, you um, compare him to Jackson, no problem. Then we must, we must talk. Be no, happy. Be happy. Compare him to no, Jackson. Must, be no, happy. because if you're gonna say you, stats, you've got the better player. Jack, Jackson don't get to play against Dell. Dell computer in, in 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 Europa. So are we gonna? You're gonna if you're gonna mention the stats, they have to be correct. They have to be correct. You can't. No, no you problem, can't just. No problem. You can't you just say stats away from him. You take Jackson, away and then from when him. I check the stats, they're not really. They're not really the same stats. So it doesn't really so make are sense. Are you are you siding with Robert Mugabe and saying? It's you a, said twelve it's a, in the league. He's got six. How does that? How how was that? I didn't say twelve in the league. I said he's on twelve goals. Uh, and, and I said, can someone check that? Because I'm not yeah. a stats guy. I preface that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got well, we got like 38 super chats, you know. Well, I, I know there's a few that's the big dogs, man. It's yeah, the big there's... dogs. You understand? <laughs> cool, no, but I didn't see them all come in. It's all mad. I thought I the thought a lot of all the members ones, but People I won't speak. In. Like Kevin, right. let me talk. Let me talk. Right. Luckily, yeah, another episode of Let Me Talk today. 36 <laughs> minutes in, so we've got time. We've got time. All right, let me scroll up to the top and see. If there's any subjects that are not Liverpool City related, then I'll get them in, in due course. But I'm going to focus on the Liverpool City ones first, people. Um, let me scroll, let me scroll. <laughs> What's this one here? Question for the panel. Well, it's not game related, but it's still City related, I guess. Patrick says, question, taking out current current age who do you think is the better player overall kdb or luca modric ps luca never hooked during a title decider pep took kdb off to keep the ball hmm. all right well excusing the this latter half mm. of that question kdb or luca modric i'm assuming he's saying prime by taking out current age cams has um, done it's different players man damage, i hate incredible doing these ones man it's like which position Bro. you need <laughs> What's this man done, bro? <laughs> one run, and this is how they're talking on KDB now. They're, you lot make me sick. Okay, you man, like make me you absolutely sick. sick. You, you have no me. shame, Stop. right? The way that so, you man have allowed to play is a disgrace. Fourteen games. Oh my! Fourteen God. games. Thirteen assists. Oh, yeah, he's been out for six months, man. He was in the game. We needed to make a decision. We're getting overrun in midfield, right? <laughs> De Bruyne I'm going to chase De Bruyne. You know, De Bruyne's head level goes red in it when he's when he when he's fucked. He was bright red, so we knew his his his, his barometer had gone. So we brought in Kovacic. No one's getting hooked, mate. Nunes got took off. Yeah, does that mean he got hooked as well? Because it was a draw, lads. It was a draw. You know what I mean? But KDB, man, this is the world we live in now. Yeah. This is the world of modern day football, yeah. That KDB gets took off tactically, and apparently he's fucking turned into fucking. I don't know. But not even that. Someone but not even that, that. But not even that. The comparison stylistically. How are you asking us, like, who you, like, who's the better player? Like, it's KDB and Luka Modric are classed as midfielders, but total different. I don't. Field, I don't man. think it's that. I don't think it's that wild of a question. I, yeah, you yeah. are right. They're different, but I don't like, think they're. Depends. Like I think they can both. They both have have. You know. I, I, I much prefer Modric deeper. I much prefer KDB in the final third. That's me personally. I get that. I get that. That's me personally. I'm taking both. Modric. Listen, both OGs. Yeah, if, uh, I'd probably. Yeah. Lean, lean and and, and when we're talking about KDB being one of the greatest midfielders of all time. We can't not put Modric in that conversation, so it's not a yeah. shit on one conversation at all. Because nah, nah, nah. Luca's elite, elite. Mm. elite. I think I, I think the separate the separator is international. Because I think club club wise, obviously the Champions League's for Luca, and the, but he's at Real Madrid in it, and I, I'd assume that the De Bruyne at Madrid would have won multiple Champions Leagues too. But I think internationally is probably what decides it for me. Modric has carried Croatia to to break expectations, whereas De Bruyne with with Belgium, not that he's the only one. Hazard was meant to do it as well, never really lived up to expectations. So that's probably the, for me anyway, the difference maker. Um, here's a good here's a good point that someone just made in the chat. Yeah, if Ortega gets injured, yeah, we'll have to play Scott Carson. You know that. I was thinking about this before. I think City should go out tomorrow and sign David De Gea. You're oh, I'd sign him. That is fine. Go, go and sign 
David De Gea tomorrow on a six-month contract, just in case. That's telling you foul. Now. And he was saying no. And he was saying no. He will rattle up United and all them. And, and, you can't and play him. Oh, He's Have you seen that man pass? He's involved in the FA Cup. He's a the red. FA Cup. Have you seen that man pass? He can't play off in the back. I was going to say, man, I don't know if you want to if you want to take him, he can't be better off. Don't play him on a free. We should Pep, would, Pep, would, Pep would have cardiac arrest, my brother. Watching that, the, the, the the no the 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 with the ball at his feet and the way you lot play. No, we're yeah, playing crazy. the hey, you're back up to Carson, isn't it? Oh, you're back up to Carson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me no, go on to the next. Let me go on to the That's next. Week. Hey, is a red the disrespect, man. The disrespect. That's like you using the toilets in the cop end. No, man. They're bad toilets, man. They're bad toilets, don't they? Guna San says, big up lad, Steve, question, where was world-class Foden? I didn't see world-class Foden on the pitch. If he was, what was world-class Foden doing? Why did world-class Foden fail to world-class? See, this, this Turkish, this is your fan base. You need to get a grip. <laughs> Don't come to me about <laughs> it. Oh, yeah. hell, this, is about this is why, this is why, this guy probably last year has been in his bedroom for fucking eight, nine months crying because he bottled the league and he's just come out now because the sun is shining. And he's coming out with shit like this. Yeah. <laughs> where was world class Foden? Well, watch last week's game against United and you'll see where he was then. You know what I mean? Man, it's crap. Modern day what football is shit. This shit, man. Do you know what you should do on this channel? You should put a, a, a question. Like, you know, when you go in a group on Facebook and you have to answer certain questions related to the group. And if you get them right, you're allowed in the group. You should do that on here. And if they don't pass the test, they can fuck off and go and watch the football terrace. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. he, 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 he definitely goes on the football terrace. He definitely does. He goes on the terrace. He spent a tenner to ask that question, man. A tenner. He could have got a kebab, man. <laughs> he just sent shots all over the gap. Oh, it's mad. No. Right, big up Big Steve. Big up Green and Ten as well. Um, let's move. Let's move. Let me see where we are. Um, Blaze says, Big Steve, do you have chest for slapping Arsenal just like you had chest for all the other big games you've drawn? Just don't let Arsenal rock up with a W at the Etihad. Are you still confident? I know it's still three weeks away, but 100%. right now, you, you W, 100%. yeah? 100%. Yeah. But okay. Arsenal got to come to the Etihad. Yeah. Come. We're waiting. We're sat there waiting. You're the big dogs now. You're smacking everyone. We'll be waiting for you. Don't worry. We'll be waiting. We got something for you again. Ah, uh, you know what? You did. This is the Aye. right time. This is the right time to plug the show as well. Me, Steve, James, Redmond. Once a week, every week, we're doing title talk on my channel. So, if you want to hear Big Steve's thoughts leading up to that game and after that game, me included, then make sure you're on my channel, people. Individual channel links in the description below. Listen, um, last season they were saying to me, "You got to come to the Emirates. You got to do this. You got to do that." I said, "We're coming to the Emirates. We know what we're doing. We're coming for you." Yeah. We came and won. I want to see the same from Arsenal fans. Mm. I want to see the energy. I want him in my DMs telling me they're coming. I want Turkish mm. and Robbie to do a walk, walk around the stadium again, begging mm. the fans to turn up. Don't say again with me, though. Don't say again. Yeah. Man didn't do that last year. Man didn't do yeah, that. Man. Man. Turkish, you might get involved with that one. I can't lie, man. <laughs> you might have to get involved, yo. We are hey. here. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Listen, I ain't even uh, gonna say listen, I Everyone's, even gonna, everyone's I talking down. Do the Arsenal fans are talking down on us here, like we're shit. I like that. I like that. You know, Foden don't turn up for a game. He's shit. De Bruyne now is fucking crap. Rodri's fell off. So this is all good. It's all good. But in the Emirate, in the Etihad Stadium, you've got to prove it. It's all right talking. I talk the shit. I walk the walk. I mentioned the shark outside the Emirates. I put my my, my, my neck on the line. I could have been finished, but I have confidence in my team. I want to see the same. The big influential Arsenal accounts, Don Robert, Cecil. I want to see Cecil eating rice pudding outside the ground. Not I want Cecil. to see Big Strickle. Uh, Cecil's Listen, crazy. I want to see Big Just to sit, on this one. sit down on this one. I want to see Strickle <laughs> take his coat off. The I've never seen that coat leave his back. That needs to come off. Yeah. I want to see Don Robert doing moonwalking and all. I want to see it all because that's what I'm, you know, this is the way we get to talk to. Let's bring it, man. Bring it. Yeah. Do you know what? You know I what? don't even know. I don't even know what I want in this game from the Liverpool fan base because I don't know if I want a Man City win. Maybe. Come on, it's Arsenal you need, man. Then huh? it opens. Man City are the biggest threat. At least Arsenal. 
You know what I mean? You could catch them up, man. We've got the uh, hardest running, win, man. So yeah. we've got Arsenal the hard, got hard like, running, bro. I don't know. Mm. But anyway, it's going to be fun the way these yeah. guys are building up. I know. I I just don't, don't, want, I can't don't let Tottenham. First time. First don't let time. Tottenham fuck up your title charge. That's all I'm saying. Oh, don't, don't. Let's oh. Let's let's because you it. know he's been talking shit about them for years. Let's Drew Ad knows the game. He knows the dance. He's been dreaming about it. He's been dreaming about it. To be honest, Tottenham got, oh, what is it? Well, what is it? City at, at White Hart Lane. D- Dennis mm-hmm. Arsenal at White Hart Two Lane. Two holding away. Yeah, back, yeah. Back in it. Yeah, yeah. Three back to back. Tottenham's got a big say, man. Back to Tottenham's back. Tottenham's got a big say. <sighs> Aye, Aye, someone, someone's getting it. Someone's getting it. What, what <laughs> game week is that? What game <laughs> week? ain't losing all three. I'm going to tell you that. What game week is that? What game week uh, is that? I think no game. it's 32, 33, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That one of the Emirates, man, it's going to be a madness, man. That one of the Emirates, sorry, not at the Emirates, at the Tottenham Stadium. It's going to be a crazy game. Crazy it game. Will be, it will be. We will be there. We will be there. We will we're be there. there. We're always there, bro. We're it's the there. second biggest game in the Premier League calendar. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> what happened? You, you had to shoehorn that in. <laughs> what happened? I don't know what happened. <laughs> we just, we just, but anyway, yeah, oh. is. we will be there. So he says, Oi, we, oi, oi, me and you do a joint watch along. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that would be fun. Who, me? No, no, me and Saeed. Because you guys are involved, didn't it? So we're going to do like just yeah, a. We'll be- yeah. Funky watch along, innit? Man City he, Arsenal. Oh, bring his juju. He's got like juju curse. Nah, that juju. <laughs> Saeed, my brother, this is the time to, yeah, listen. Bro, if you need anything, bro, we'll be there. Arsenal, man. Arsenal will rise, man. Don't worry. Arsenal have got this, man. They've got the form. They're playing the best football in the league. This is Arsenal's league, man. So don't worry about these lot, man. They're just trying to trying to play his down, man. Come yeah, on. We're gonna move on to Arsenal next before, after the super chats, anyway. So let's let's get more <sighs> in because there's eight point three k in the building, forty seven minutes and hit the like button, people. Sam says community man just said dash the comments. Community man doesn't rate the community people. I love you, people, man. I thanked you. I, I wish you happy Ramadan. What do you want me to do? Make you a samosa? <laughs> Enigma says Steve, your blue you really shot want a samosa sport. today. You've said it twice now. <laughs> You know what's on my mind, isn't it? I've had about six. You can tell Chris. You can tell Chris he's hungry because every analogy comes out with food. (laughs) Every single one so far tonight. (laughs) Right, be be back in two minutes. Enigma says, "Steve, your blue sharks caught gum disease and lost all its teeth. No bite." Mm. AJ says, "Fuad, City, fifty-five percent. Liverpool, forty-four percent. Arsenal, one percent chance." Of winning the league, then man goes on to say, Arsenal don't bottle it. Arsenal oh. did break you, Spursy lot. That, that percentage is my percentage, but you guys, as you guys have been shouting all week, best defensive record, best attack record, form team at the moment. I just said, Hey, if that's the case, do your hey, thing. Hey, that, is, that is the case. It's not if that's the case, no, exactly. So do your thing. We, we, we shall. Mm. We shall. We shall. Um, are you ready? Are you? Can I? Can, can I ask this question? <laughs> are Arsenal? Are Arsenal ready? Yeah, because like, if if you fall off, we might talk about squad depth. Nelson. We might talk about Vieira. Nah. We might talk about Smith. Nah, we nah, might nah, talk nah, about nah. injuries. Are you ready? Like, nah, nah, everybody nah, ready? Nah. Buckle up. Good to go. We're, we're, ready to go we're, for the we're, car journey. We're ready, man. I think we're better placed. Okay. Okay. Twenty yeah. nine, man. They got Bando baby twenty nine. They're good, I just man. Check. I should have checked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, worry. I mean, we will talk. We will talk to Ed. Um, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Alvarez <laughs> must have some evidence of malpractice and or photos against Pep. Enough of this midfield gim- gimmick. Give Walter the keys. Rest in peace, Malcolm. Big up FCM. Um, this out. Like, I'm seeing Alvarez get quite a bit of stick recently, Steve. Um, what's your f- brief thoughts it's on him? He's, he's just being he's being uh, just put into different positions and he's a young kid he's not he's not a uh, he's not a, a, a number nine nine he don't he shouldn't be playing behind early in the 10 role he's played on the right he's played on the left I think he's just pep you know what he's like he's played Nunes on the left the other week he's played Alvarez on the left it doesn't he can't start Jeremy all the time because he's he's wild um He's just playing with him, and he's playing about with him. But Alvarez is cool. We know he's he, he, he's a good player, but 
it's just mad at the minute there. You know, Pep frustrates the life out of you. When you're a City fan and you 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 he just instead of buying a player in a certain position, he'd rather shift someone out there and try it and all that. It's a bit mad, but listen, it must work. We've won all the trophies, but I feel a bit sorry for Alvarez sometimes. I think he's trying to do a job. He didn't he didn't disgrace himself at Anfield, he just got the pressure and the crowd got to him every time. He, he, he had to play in tight spaces. He lost the ball. You know what I mean? I didn't. I didn't blame him, but some players get overwhelmed, and he he did. Blue Moon, big up, man. He said we played naively. Liverpool should have won, but we take a draw away at Anfield. If we win all our games, we'll be good. Arsenal soon come, Turkish. Come on, come Bro, on. Blue saying? Moon predicting four new Moon? and three new and shit. Got, we, we, both, we both take our use to that game and see which one leaves cry, crying. What are you telling me? Yeah, you now he switched to me? Arsenal. <laughs> Let's see you. Let's let's go. Let's go. You for you, child for child. He was come, saying. Come he was saying. Grizz, free new. We're coming. We're coming to Anfield this time. It's not. It's not. It's not the same anymore. <laughs> uh, big up Blue Moon. Joel says Harvey Elliott is a Moon. class player. Um, played against him on Carvalho during an elite tournament when they were at Fulham. Um, very similar to Cole Palmer. Grizz, your pessimism is off putting. You're pumping up City more than Liverpool. Why scared, brother? Hope Agent City get a point from Arsenal. Liverpool fan there. I'm the um, only Liverpool fan that said we're going to be in a title race and you're calling me pessimistic. Get out of here. Seek <laughs> says City, Liverpool rivalry is friendly because they both can't believe they're challenging for league titles. Finally, United Arsenal were seasoned title battlers for decades, so it's fierce and fiery. Ooh, seasoned battlers. Ooh, fucking loaded bollocks. <laughs> fucking hell, man. I you tell you what, another tenner, another tenner down the fucking drain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, man. Ooh, that rivalry down the man. drain. It goes back into the content, Steve. This is we we talk. It's not down the drain. Don't worry, mate. We'll History, friend. History, friend. History, <laughs> friend. What's going to be a rivalry this one? Liverpool have only won one Premier League and, um, and City have won how many? Come on, man. <laughs> Finally, rivalry. At least Arsenal. It was a bit, you know, it was, it was competitive oh. in that in that six year period. So I don't know. I don't want to do this. We spent way too long on this anyway. I don't want to come back with. I could come yeah. back with so much Thank ammunition you. and blow your head off, but I won't. And Bye Bye says, "Nice to see City. Uh, nice to see City rattled, had no control, and bottled the one goal lead against a makeshift Liverpool back five. Mm. The Bruyne versus Salah, who goes down as the bigger legend? I'd say De Bruyne, personally. Um, but it's about they they both go down as, as legends, so I don't see how Kevin De Bruyne goes above him. I wouldn't put Salah above, above Kevin De Bruyne. Salah's gonna go down as one of the greatest all time record goal scorers of the Premier League. Mm -hmm. His legend will live on. No, I'm I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I just think the the amount of trophies that the brain's been a part of that that's probably what what he's got to judge it on the end, isn't it, man? You got to judge it at the end of the careers, man. When they both finish, I think there'll be debates where everyone says, "Oh, Mo Salah." I put Mo Salah in my uh, combined eleven on the overlap, and fucking hell, man! I thought, you thought I'd killed someone. Do you know what I mean? It's mad. Can't win. Don't ever do a combined eleven on a channel. It's just not. I worth saw it. your one, and I thought it was quite reasonable. Was. I'm not gonna lie. It was. I, I, I think it's reasonable. He said to me, yeah. He yeah. said to me, online don't have reason. He said, pick the team as if it's your team and you and how you'd set up. So yeah. I thought, okay, I prefer Edison just because we can play it out from the back. I put Trent over Kyle because I thought Trent's a little bit younger. We we'll get him in the midfield and that. I picked Virgil Van Dijk in there to go with Johnny Stones. I thought Johnny Stones Van Dijk would be class. I got Mo Salah. Out of respect over Phil Foden, fucking hell, man, the world. They're still messaging me now about it. I'm making my phone blowing up. Still going on about it. Man. <laughs> yeah, combine 11 uh, time. You can never keep, yeah. Madness, no way madness. everyone's going to be happy. Wait till you, the, on the overlap, there was an Aston Villa combined 11 with Man City. And the Aston Villa fan chose Douglas Louise over Rodri and Pau Fuck. Torres over Ruben Diaz. So if you want to get on someone, go and get on that guy, whatever he's called. Fuck. <laughs> LL Cool J lost 4 0. Mad. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Mad. If Virgil leads this Liverpool team to the title, where do you rank him all time Prem defenders? Big up you lot from Austin, Texas. Come on, Liverpool. One of the very best. One of the very, very best. And if yeah. you're just going to keep denying it and keep saying, oh, this and that, it's up to you, bro. He's the one of the very, very best. It's argumentative all day where he ranks exactly. That's subjective, but one of the very best.
Lee says, big up the panel. Welcome back, Big Steve. The only City fan that rattles me when he talks about Arsenal. Keep up the great content. When is Saeed hey, one man? Hey, Arsenal to buy the level. <laughs> oh, mate, I've already heard. I've already heard. So, yeah, it is what it is. We'll see when that comes out. Probably tomorrow or something. Tomorrow or something. Mm. Um, Sigurd says, can we please stop calling Van Dijk the best defender in the world? Let's call a spade a spade. He is the best player in the world. Um... Strictly Football says, Steve, do you feel there could be an issue with Alvarez's position long-term? Clearly not a winger, but can't get in the side up top with Haaland. He's a lot better than what he's showing right now. Well, Steve did touch in on it briefly. Yeah, just, I feel sorry for him. And like I say, it's that pep and it's crazy. Shane says, finally made it from the States to watch this game live and it was unreal. Being there live showed me how world-class Van Dijk is. Title race crazy. Hope City and Liverpool draw each other in the Champions League would drain both teams. By the way, shout out Shane. I'm so sorry I couldn't make the game. He did actually come up for the States and we were supposed to link up. So big up Shane. But um, with Ramadan coming on the weekend, family stuff, Mother's Day and all that, what would it basically? But big up Shane. Big up Moose as well. Big up Big Steve. As a Liverpool fan, Mo dived. Performance from Lucho, we know he struggled to score but was clutch in possession. No slander tolerated. Harvey Endo, Makart Gomez and Big Virgil, injured players still top three. Pretty much wrapped it all up in one. Love for the big super chat and love to everyone sending in super chats. Um, I'd be hesitant moving forward in this subject anyway because I'm not going to get through all of the ones on this subject, Liverpool City, so... You know, if you've got any thoughts, any super chats being written now, stop, please. Because, yeah, like I said, we're coming up to an hour. I'll get a couple more in, keep it moving. We'll see where we are later in the show. And if I can get more in at the end, I will do that. AAK says, Liverpool, the first team in Europe's top five leagues to score 100 goals. All their forwards have minimum 10 each. Matisse, compare your forwards with Fulham and them, man. City draw one game and Big Steve throws a shot to everyone. Listen, you know, it's the return of Big Steve. You knew shots were going to be, be flying tonight as it is. I'm a hired so, hitman. Uh... I'm a hired hitman. I come in, <laughs> shots off, put my coat on, fuck off. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> it is all mad. Um, Robert Grids, with all that, yet you couldn't beat City on their worst day at Anfield and blew the chance to go four clear. You blew it as Klopp always does in every title race he's in. Grizz, karma. 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 Yeah, yeah. Just let this one slide, man. Milk, milk. Yeah, just, milk calm just leave it. Just leave it. Um, Where are we? Foden has set the bar for young English lads trying to make it in the modern game, says Ahmed. Completely separate question. Do you reckon Foden can catch that Palmer guy for goals and assists this season? It mustn't be that far apart. Yeah, they mustn't be that far apart. Palmer's though. on 25 GA this season or something. I don't know what, I don't know what Foden's on. But again, I don't think Foden cares. I think he's in a title race, um, Champions League. So I don't think GA is a trophy. So let Foden do what he's doing. We don't want to be in these silly conversations anyway. Palmer's on 25 GA? I think so. I saw that stat somewhere. After Can someone stat, check that, he got, a, he got an assist and a goal today, so... Can someone check that, please? Because you just want to... nah, Tom Palmer's <laughs> shining, man. Tom Palmer's. He was leading for I think, under twenty under twenty ones in Europe next to Bellingham, so it's not it's not that deep. How many penalties? Doesn't matter. Someone has to put them in, brother. <laughs> I'm okay. just saying. I don't, I don't know doesn't why matter. you think it's defensive. Yeah, I'm not defensive. I'm just saying a penalty. What, what, what do you want him to it miss? Really it doesn't matter. Of course, it doesn't matter. I agree. I just said how many penalties. You said it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. So I agree. It doesn't matter. <laughs> next, next one. Ser says Liverpool couldn't beat us in the league this year. City haven't beaten us in the league this year. We will beat City again and remain top. We will be there. I'm not cocky, just confident. That's obviously moving on to the next subject. Listen, people, we're 59 minutes in and some change. We're coming up to one hour, so slowly but surely we'll keep it moving. Like I said, there's still 55 super chats there. They've gone up instead of gone down over the last 10, 15 minutes of doing them. So big up everyone. Like I said, the Super chat revenue goes back into the content. So if I don't read the super chat, apologies, love for the love. I do try to give people a heads up when not to, because sometimes these shows get a bit wild. And with Steve back with the results this weekend, international break, 8.4K in the building. I got to, you know, prioritize the, the flow of the show. And we've still got a lot to talk about. So, yeah, hopefully we've passed a thousand likes. I won't check. Let's get to Come 2,000 on. people. 1,000, 2,000 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. We've got to take steps in it. We've got to take Standard steps. Standard yeah, procedure. Is right, man. 2000. Let's do that. Um, 
All right, next up, next up. Well, it makes sense actually. Go to straight onto Arsenal, top of the league, win against Brentford. Um, more more difficult. Well, we made it more difficult for ourselves than than recent games, but. Yeah, we got the job done. We got the job done. We're top of the league. We got the perfect result against Liverpool. Well, Liverpool and City not against them. Um, players coming back at key times. Our, our squad's looking healthy. Obviously, we've got a big match tomorrow against Porto, which I will touch in on later. But I think that will kind of set the mood for the Man City game. I don't want to talk too much about Man City before that game's played. If we go through, you know, all guns blazing into that City game. If we don't, the next two weeks is going to be one of those. Oh deflate in two weeks um where there'll be a lot of doubt going into the etihad but yeah i mean brentford put up a fight ramsdale nearly what can i say ramsdale nearly ramsdale um even though he made up for it in the second half with two saves i say made up for it i didn't feel he made up for it at the time of the saves i feel like he made up for it when i look back at we still got three points um but yeah i mean top of the league does anyone else has anyone changed their opinions on their predictions this season on on who might win it now? Does anyone have any changes to? Does everyone still think City here? Like I think it was everyone that agreed City, apart from maybe actually no, Gris said Liverpool closest challengers. So yeah, yeah, I, I still think got anyone, City. I think yeah. I think everyone had Arsenal. Uh, you know, title race. I'm the only one who said we're going to be the closest to City, but I still had Arsenal in, in and around there. So yeah, and look, yeah, Liverpool's the fixture, one that shocked me. Arsenal, fixtures, fixtures I had Arsenal wise, in it. Liverpool's the one that surprised mm. me. It, it's look, I'm still adamant that fixtures wise, you have got the hardest running, and if you do still manage to come through the running that we've said and pip Liverpool and City, it'll be absolutely magnificent for you, man. Absolutely magnificent because you have got a tough running, and you are dealing with two two teams that have done it and know how to keep winning. But you're doing it, and I thought Brentford. I know some people want to criticise you guys, but not every game you're going to win five, six nil and sweep teams apart. Sometimes you're going to have to handle your business differently. We had scrappy win last week against I can't remember who it was. Um, Man City's Forest. win against Brentford wasn't pretty. Pretty Forest. Man City's win against Brentford wasn't pretty. Pretty, but you have to get the job done. I thought you got the job done. Um, but yeah, the pressure's going to come in the next four or five mm -hmm. games, and we know that anyway. So. Yeah, I this think is the next, where... next two for us is, is, is separate the boys. Separate the boys from the men. Yeah, this yeah. Begins now is from the big dogs. They are, they're asking Fuad the Kadali to rise and speak, bro. Before, before the court. Before the court. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, what on the whole? What what you said about Liverpool? What's he been saying? What's he been saying? Season, I, I, obviously, being a Spurs fan, you know, I'm trying to pray <laughs> on, <you. laughs> on your downfall, brother. Every season, oh, and the next season, and every season after, I will be there hating. Yeah, you man think I was gonna put you in title challenge races at the start of the season? <laughs> nope, I was more hopeful of Chelsea coming back. I was more hopeful of Ten Hag turning it Chelsea. around. Then bottled yeah. down, down this season, man. <laughs> I agree. You need to see the clip because he says it. I, I, I'll hold that bill. As I say, that's what I'm saying. saying. You do say it with How conviction, though, man. I can't lie for it. You oh, do say it with conviction. Even though. when he says Man United title race, he goes definitely. I'm like, Bro, I was like, yo, Galas, Galas. I'm looking for it. Yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you want to learn how to get through something in life, talk with confidence. That's too far in interviews. You're yeah. going to say it, say it with chest. If you're going to say it, say it with chest. 100%. <laughs> say it. Say it with chest. <laughs> the thing is, I also don't need the favorites tag, though, man. They just need to keep doing their job. I don't no, think they need to nothing. have this whole kind of favourites tag. And if they just keep oh, winning their games, we're gonna give they it keep... to them. If they beat Manchester City, we're going to give them. But a why, I don't tag. understand though. I don't get understand that why you're doing that. Because why, why? I have right. I have agendas to fulfill. I have quotes. If, if, if they beat, beat Man City, City, Manchester City at the Etihad, yeah. Arsenal are going down categorically as strong favourites. Not on just this platform, on multiple platforms. And I was how many games is there? And how many I games is it after though? There's 10 oh, games so there's there's after. Now. Until I drop. Yeah, so there's going to be nine games left. That's still a lot of games, you know? Yeah, it's not but, they went to the Etihad, but they went to the Etihad. So if they go to the Etihad and win, we are putting mm. that favourites tag on them. Me and we will, we will pedal that. Oh, yeah. Back. We will pedal oh, that yeah. to the end. Yes. We're not going to do this mm. underdog thing all the way to the end of the season. At some point, at some point, the pressure will be there. If you continue to play these games and to get involved I'm in these to try to pray you down for, man. will be there. Crazy. But you know what, you know what, Matisse? 
<laughs> you know what, Matisse? When I'm I when you know spectator, when I big up our te- when I big up Arteta now, and I ask you like Arteta, Pochettino, you bro, finish the job. What, oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we saw <laughs> what happened. You said you never rated in in the first place, so you're not really primed to speak about him and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Can I can I speak about Kai? Can I run something here, or am I not allowed to do that as well? I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta bring your you gotta bring your your bro. Your bring the Kai out the agenda. You ain't running this shit. Bring it. I want to hear. I want to hear from a real stand. <laughs> this is gonna be the man who single handedly undoes everything Arsenal. Bro, you're shit. putting that on his that's, head. That's that's gonna that's be all his fault. Him. When the chat are saying, when are you gonna apologize to Kai Havertz? I'm not gonna apologize. Yeah. You're winning in spite of Kai Havertz. Oh, son of a bitch! He got himself into good spices yesterday. Yes, sir. Am I in a good space now? It never, ever. <laughs> um, Look at Vince's face! Man, don't do this! I need Please, to be here, do not. Do not do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Do you think he just has way too much pressure on himself? He's not good. Damn! So, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Welcome, bro. Yo, Speak to me. Shit. I need some. I need to have a conversation with you, bro. Yo, what's, where's, what's Tobes? happening? Where's Tobes? Why is it just me? They've and all you gone. They've where's, all gone. Where's, where's Tobes? It's just me and you. There's no tag team tonight. Rotten, Singles yeah? match only, bro. You're entering. You're entering the ring like this. What we're you here, saying? bro. We're here. What are you I'm saying, all bro? good, man. I'm all good. My team's top of the league, and we're doing mm, all right. Mm, what about mm, yours? Mm, what about yours? Are you top off yet? Listen, we're, we're we're doing our thing. Do you know what I mean? We're focusing on the job. Have you have you got a medal around your neck or something that you want to show me? Something to tangible, tangible stuff to bring to the table? Or is it just going to be um, moments? What, what are we do? We'll here? see that at the end of the season. Medals okay. are not given just you're yet. Lifting, but I think you're the prem. if you if you make it to the top half, you might. I'm not sure if you get a medal for that either. But we'll, we'll mm. see. We'll see. We'll see if you can get above the likes of Brentford and them and there. Uh, and uh, so, we'll so talk. what you what's what's Kingdom Kai keys to the Bimar late winner? What's he bringing to the? Is it Champions League or Premier League you're winning this season? Please. Oh, oh no. we're trying to win the Premier League and obviously hopefully the Champions League as well. You know, but we'll talk about it. Hopefully. End of the season. But no, no, no. For now, kingdom, I think that's eight Kai. goals scored. No, I think that's eight goals scored already. Equaled his best Chelsea tally. I think yeah. he's got more goals than Hoyland, than Kudu. Than DRB and I mean, if Havertz is seen as an automatic flop, then are those guys flops as well? Uh, brother, listen, we're we're pending, aren't we? It's not not automatic flop. I didn't call him automatic flop, but as I, mean, I said, Champions like League did. Kingdom Kai. I'm expecting the Champions League to be lifted or the Premier League. If not, you're sitting in the wrong seat. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be here. You you're be you're here. hoping not. Turkey's you're hoping, and you I'm hoping so. I'm, just, I'm, look, set I'm, not, I'm not sitting here to say that Arsenal won the title. I'm here to praise a boy that you guys are slandering, saying mm. that we were winning in spite of him. You know, mm. and it seems like this weekend we did not win in spite of him, yeah. but because is, of him. Is, is 11 GA for 65 million and 300,000 a week? Is that is that good? Yeah, is that is that enough? Is that is well, that we're not the end of the season? Yet, you know, and I think if we go up, Chelsea fans. Chelsea fans always talk about Kingdom Kai being very good in March. We've got Man City in March, and if and Kai can score a few goals against Man City, then I'll take that. Mm. I'm hearing a lot of if buts maybes. When you got absolutes, you should be back. You should be back. I mean, I'm talking absolutes right now. He's got mm. the same amount of equal as best of a record he had at Chelsea. And I mean, let, let me give you a little stat here. You know, I'm not sure if you're a fan of XG, but I certainly am. You know, Havertz has been associated as a bad finisher by Chelsea fans because he used to miss a lot of chances. At Leverkusen, for two years, 17 goals and 12 goals, he overperformed his XG. Went to Chelsea for two years and he underperformed, you know, missed too many chances. He got labelled as uh, a bad finisher, comes to Arsenal and guess what he's doing again? He's overperforming his XG. So as in he's scoring his chances, he's taking his chances. Yeah, but last so season you told may- me about... Maybe, just maybe, there's something happening at, at Chelsea that there's a reason why, you know, players seem to be leaving. Like even Lukaku scoring goals at Roma, Havertz mm. is doing well at Arsenal. Yeah. So there might be something with the waters at Stamford Bridge. But, but last season you won the field tilt, because I remember you was on Twitter telling me about field tilt. What did you win last season? I mean, we didn't talk about Phil Tilt last season. That was after mention, this game. Filter, filter after the, after this year. Yeah, Phil Tilt Til was mentioned only this season after the game against Chelsea, which was just Stafford Bridge. But last so season, if I saw the Phil Tilt that you don't have, I, then we'll go for it. I saw that Phil Tilt. I saw that Phil Tilt last season. Turkish, what have you done? You, I am press resistant. I am press resistant. Nah, you're not. You're hey, not, bro. bro. You got, you're not. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> You know what I respect the most about that clip here was that he added you in talking about Kai Havertz as well, yeah, because I'm not lying to you, one of the nastiest <laughs> things I'm seeing, yeah, every Arsenal fan is... Uh, Babs, maybe you were one of the ones that were on board from the jump, but I'm telling you, the majority of your fan base were not on board with this signing. <laughs> and for a long time, we're not on board with this signing. So don't try and now turn around... I'm not, I'm not doing that. Like, 
I'm no, not no, doing no. that. Maybe not you. As I said, maybe not you. But there's a man. It won't be bad. Now acting like they Look. were Team King Kai. Don't have some shame because some of these guys get at me on Twitter. And all I did was a quick search in their search bar. They were slandering Havertz all season. But now it's time he's winning and they're on the bandwagon. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Stay on that Look, side. Look, we're not here to say that he's automatically right. scoring some winning goals means that he's automatically success. But I think what it was was last week, I felt like he was judging fairly. In the games I was talking about, City and Liverpool, he clearly made an impact. And I think Toby was going against that. And I, I was going blind to it. So I think it's a matter of, look, has he been an outstanding success? No, he's not been Declan Rice. But when it matters most right now, he's turning up. And that's that's the best that you can do. You mm. see, what you said there is when it matters most. Guess what? That time has not even come. That time is right now. When you're about to play second leg of the Champions League, Last 10 games of the season. You see all of this? We saw this last year. January, February, pink kit season. You don't remember? The unbeaten runs. And don't, let him have that, and... don't let him have that. Don't let him have that. How did it end up? A pink kit season, actually. That, that, we didn't wear like it after, after, I mean, after the second half of the season. So that wasn't pink kit season. But, you know, this year, Arsenal have the most goals in Europe or most goals in England. You know, second most in Europe only behind Bayern Munich. We've got the best defence. So it's looking good right now. But I also understand and I agree that the business end is coming. And that's why I'm not sitting going, no, Arsenal top of the league, give us the Champions medal right now. Because I realise that the toughest, toughest games are coming. And I think people people have people know the race has officially started with ten games to go, but the first big moments already come, and Kai took that big moment. I'm I'm someone who's criticising him. That's why I, I'm glad I'm in the clip, even though I orchestrated this Bavs come um you know appearance thing. I respect it. I respect <laughs> it. I'll take my lick. But the first I did as well. I did. Because if we drew that game to Brentford, if we drew that game to Brentford, this conversation would have been very different today. It would have been like Arsenal, they're not about it. Then, you know, they, they had a chance to go top. They didn't. Look, Liverpool City, Drew, Bottlers, all of this stuff. But oh, Kai popped up. It? And it's not it's not only Kai, because Ben White, I think, deserves a hell of a lot of credit. Ben White deserves a hell of a lot of credit mm. because he got the two assists. He was probably my man of the match. But I can give should credit. It be, should it be in sent off, people? Should it be in sent off? Mm, the dive. Should it have been on the pitch? The dive. Mm. Mm. Could have been, could have been, you, you know, win, you win some, could have you been. lose some, man. You win some, you yeah, lose yeah. some. No, absolutely. 100% you win some, lose some. But should have been on the pitch. No one's giving me a yes, no answer. No, he shouldn't have. It's, but it was the first yellow or yellow is the question I'd ask back. It was, a, it was given. It was given. And then but you the have to second, also and understand the second one wasn't the ref, given. The second one the wasn't angle, given. So what are you saying? Just to just to give some context, yes. the angle of the what the ref had to see Havertz has has Havertz's dive wasn't clear. So he couldn't have seen the dive. It was down to the I'm line. Back and obviously you. the VAR can't come last in. Week. I backed you last week with a Havertz prop because I was like, Bad is talking sense about that thing. Please don't say it's not a dive. That was a dive. No, I'm not saying it's not a dive. I'm not saying it's not a dive, but I'm talking so, about yeah. why the referee why I've not given but, it. Oh, and that's mainly because of that. VAR but, can't come in and say he dived unless he gives a penalty. Overall, I get the Havertz, you know what I mean, thing, because there's loads of Liverpool fans that jump in on the Nunes bandwagon as well now and all this business, and they were asking him for all sorts, man, um, and, and calling him all sorts, whatever. So I get it. But you've got to give the guy time, man. He's he's still young. I'm not going to pretend I know his age because I'll get it wrong. People are going to start <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. How old is he, Babs? Babs 24. Knows, man. Tw 24. Oh, Come yeah. on. So he's been at Chelsea, he's been at, come from Leverkusen, and now he's at Arsenal in a title race. The pressure is on him. He's a big money signing. So far, he's had an impact. And you can't deny it, man. Maybe his oh. own personal game is not polished yet enough to be a regular or have a great impact like Declan Rice has, but mm. he's made a impact. And He's doing right. his thing, my, man. My words right, though. Or mm. was it Matisse who said it? Now we see it now as well, though the next ten games. Well, if you see, if you see the the pain in Matisse's watch along, man, that was just that was just the vic that beautiful. everyone was. But can I ask? It's not. It this is unfair, crazy, though. Only on Matisse is unfair. The relationship you have Arsenal is the same relationship you have with Liverpool. You know, it's very, very. Yeah, no, I hear you, but that's what it hurts. It hurts. Yes. <laughs> we need Toby to be dealt with as well, though. Next week, he, he can't hide. He can't run. Like I know, this. I know, I know. Just because he's in America. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, bro. Like, we're going to get him. Country. We're going to get him. the winner and fled. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Going he fled. <laughs> he heard. <laughs> he heard the Undertaker it. music and fled. You know, he knew Babs was coming yeah. today. He knew. He knew. He knew, man. He knew. <laughs> Left me I to listen. die. Big up, Babs, man. Appreciate you coming on, my bro. Uh, no my man, pleasure as always. Five, we'll speak soon. Always, man. Always. Do your thing, my bro. Take care. Brilliant. Big up, man.
I love that. Yeah, I, I, I thought, I, that was, that I was thought, good. I can't lie. That I was very good. I thought you'd say I can't speak on Kai, so I thought I'd bring in someone who can speak on choo, Kai. Choo. So. Fair, 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 fair. I like fair, that. Very fair. Very fair. Very fair. <laughs> oh, I'm big up your son, man. Your son got to watch you as well, so big up yeah, your son. Man. Man. Like sh- Wait, yeah, man. Wait, all I could bro. think about was, do you remember what we said? Oh, your son better not come out crying, man. Bro. They better get that win. You I must have thought, you, what yeah, is yeah. going on? Bro, around the 80th minute, or whenever it was like 10 minutes to go or something like that, I said to myself, my son's going to get cooked on a scarfuggery intro. <laughs> I swear to you, I said he's going to be cooked. I want to question his morals, man. I want to know. No, it's yeah. no, 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 it's all mad. It's man, it's man, super chat game, in, man. It's some big super chats coming in tonight. Fuck. Oh, I got yeah. called four eyes, bro. I know there ain't nobody else you're talking to. <laughs> couple, a couple purple <laughs> ones coming in. Let me get them in now as well whilst we're on the subject. Elisa, big up, Elisa, because you made it happen with me and Little Man as well. I've, I've told people already, so they already know. Um, Elisa kindly gave me the tickets um, for the game um, that allowed me to take Little Man. So big moment there, big moment. Um, man said four eyes. just started it with it. Well, you, you are in no position to bring up any financials. One billion squad to be hustling for 11th. Who had stopped giving lectures on how to win? You know why? Big Steve loved the energy. There will be an industrial harpoon ready to slay that shark. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Matisse, you good, yeah? Moose says, biggest super chat <laughs> ever, apparently. Man are referencing that Salah dived, but it's still there. And... Salah. And... Which, which type was that? What's that currency there, Zah? Zah? What currency is that? Zah? South Africa. Shut up, South Africa. Yeah. I hear that, but can you send in another chat? Yeah. You don't need to super it, yeah? Just send in another chat and explain what, what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Mm. Yeah. I, I don't know, know what you mean by that. <laughs> Salah <laughs> died and still there. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> I think that helped. Aran says, big up the panel. First time catching a live show in a while. Finally, Kai put in an 8 out of 10 games rather than those 5 out of 10 people were praising him for. Finally proving us wrong and it's what I want to see. Big up, Aaron, man. Hope you're good, my brother. Ryan as well. Big up the mandem every time. Good to see you, Big Steve and Fuad. Turks, Ramsdale had a howler that nearly turned into a nightmare. Honestly, Rambo owes Havertz a drink. That game shows why Raya's slightly ahead. I don't think it's slightly anymore. I think, yeah, I think, yeah. We don't need to talk about it. He's done. That was his last game. It is what it is. Glad that it didn't, didn't you know, cost him or cost us Main in the end. Main character syndrome. Main character yeah. syndrome. <laughs> Bro, if he dropped points in my son's first game, yeah. Again, this conversation would be very different as well. Um, but yeah, let's keep it moving. Next up. 403 says Big Steve getting his shots off before he goes back to watching Fleetwood away. The real cannon's coming for your head top, Mr. 115. And Fuad, your club's irrelevant. You're getting smacked like last season. <laughs> I look forward to Very it. cocky fan base now. All of a sudden. Be, Fouad, you, won't be, you won't be irrelevant when you're when you're playing against Liverpool and Man City. They need you to do something. Oh, please, can you give us something? I love it. I love it. I'm forward all this. I'm sort of, you see, though, I have a special folder in my bookmarks that I've done last week just for them. Don't worry. Don't worry. Villa fans taught me something last week, and I spun the book on them this weekend. We'll talk soon as well. <laughs> Bro, but you know what? Fuck it. You lot don't. All right, all right, I'm not even going to say you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I've been, I've been collecting from you, man. I've been collecting clips from you, man, for years, bro. Years now. At least three years I've been collecting clips of all of you lot. So when the time comes and I just give that file to Skull Fogger, oh. when that time comes, oh, okay. it's going to be oh, motion picture. End of season one. Uh, if you ask with the league, the end of season one is going to be mad. And we know, we know Skull's season. got a bias, obviously, who he supports. So he's going to come with the clip. Yeah, you know I mean, it's gonna be. A I don't know about that anymore. I don't know about that anymore. To be honest with you, <coughs> Skull was biased. <laughs> <laughs> we will be there. Jaymon says this time around, Saliba's healthy. <clears throat> Tommy asked you coming back. Partey's back, but we can ease him back into the team. Kai Havertz is firing. We're ready for this hundred percent. 
100 mm. percent um three points is three points turks if we win at the etihad we have one hand on that title but I'm, i wouldn't go that far i'd make us favorites but not one hand not three points Nah, it'd be still a point above Liverpool, assuming they win their game. No, not a point above. It'd still be the same points as Liverpool. So you can't say one hand on the title when you've got the same points. As They're not even considering us. That's all I can't. I'll They're say one hand on the title. Liverpool. One They're hand. I agree with this. Well, you I didn't agree consider with this, man. at the beginning of the season, though. Not as a title winners. I said title challengers. But you said you'd be the closest title challengers. 100%. I agree with this, man. He's spitting. But, but yeah. Arsenal not considering Liverpool. I love it. I would love it. <laughs> Matisse, who's our last game? Who's this guy, last game? This guy no. is a mentality monster. That's what I like to hear right there. One hand on it. You talk your talk. Bro. Arsenal's Everton, <laughs> isn't it? Everton a home, isn't it? Everton, Everton a home. home. Yeah, yeah. Last Fuck game off. is Everton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> do you think they're going to do anything for us if we need, if we need them to? They they, Everton, might, Everton might need to win to stay up. They don't they, get relegated. They'd, they'd rather, they'd rather <laughs> go relegated. down than us win the league, Steve. <laughs> No hope for that lot. <laughs> Imagine if I, I Arsenal are 2 0 down at home to Everton to win the league you on the last day. I've got the minerals to come back from that. They got the minerals. Like, you thought our toilets are bad. You, see, you should see the ones at Goodison. I've seen them, mate. It's fucking it's fields. horrendous. No, they're not toilets. It's fields. You have to go out in the fields. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a concrete. It's just like a concrete <laughs> drain. You just piss anywhere and it drains. It's off. like you're back home, bro. There's no toilets. <laughs> Find a they're hole build, and just handle your business. Though, it? Handle your business. Stadium. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're building a nice stadium by the waterfront as yeah, well, man. You'll have grass tickling yeah. your ass, man. There's, there's fields, man. Go and handle your business. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, right, Triple O says, I'll oh, have the hardest. <laughs> so I am just here for the ride. We need to win nine out of the last ten, and one of them has to be City. Ooh. Has to be. Havertz has the same GA at this stage as in 21-22. This narrative that Arteta has, quote, fixed him has got to stop. Fuad is shameless. Past time is moving the goalposts. <laughs> they got Fuad each and every time. Triple O adds, Arteta needs to improve in Europe. Only one home win in the knockout rounds. Losing to average teams. At least Wenger mostly lost to big teams in Europe. Yeah, there's no at least. Are you worried about tomorrow? I don't know if you want to discuss it. I don't know worried. You... I'm well aware that we can go out of the Champions League. Am I worried? Nah. I'm, conf I'm confident we get it done. I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm confident yeah, yeah. we get it done. Like, um, but yeah, we have fucked up in Europe over the years, bro. Olympiacos, Villarreal. Said's so rubbing his hand. Said, you think Paul got something? I can't lie. That's the only time when me and Matisse unite, me and Ford unite, you know what I'm saying, to Champions League. That's when we leave you, Turkish, yeah? <laughs> you're you're <laughs> you know <what> saying, <laughs> Because tomorrow the hate along's there. You know what I'm saying? That's one night only. You know what I'm saying? We can't see. Yes! Arsenal will get in that Champions League glory. Porto, Pepe. We yes. shall be there. Shall yes, be there. You know, we will be there. You know, you know, you know, Fuad and Saeed, you know, Arsenal need to get to that semi finals for the fifth spot to be Champions League. You know that. Brother, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't need it. We we're finishing it, man. We don't need your help, man. We, don't we're don't it, man. we can't help ourselves. We don't need help, man. We can't help ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Joel, yeah, says, Nick Steve, the GOAT, and this is from a gunner. I hate how annoying our fan base has turned him against us because he said Arsenal would be this before anyone else. Well, so it's true. It is true. You know, it is true. But they came for me last year. The Arsenal, I never turned on them. They came for me. We're doing this. You're finished. We're coming for your title. We're so many points clear. We're doing all that. So you got to fight fire with fire. Are you saying and, they bit the hand that feeds them? You know what I'm That's saying? why I said fuck, fuck Chris Turner. That's why I said it. They came for me as well. I was, I was. Everyone saying I'm an Arsenal fan in disguise, but fuck Arsenal now. Fuck Arsenal. <laughs> like fuck Chelsea, bro. Same now, levels. now I'm saying Arsenal favourites soon. Mad how times change. Your Great. fans, man. Your fans are mad. Let psychological let warfare in the last ten games. It's psychological warfare, yeah. And I am the king of psychological warfare on this fucking online. Let me tell you. Nobody stands outside the Emirates and talks about fucking sharks and gets away with it, except me. <laughs> Ooh, I'll tell like, you what, yeah, though, yeah, if yeah, Arsenal yeah, get yeah, something, I'm waiting for Don Robbie, Don Robbie to turn around outside the Emirates and say he's got to choose an animal and like there's a there's a big red lion coming through the jungle or something like that. He needs to say that, mate, because I said it, so let's have it, man. It's like the jungle <laughs> you know book out there. He's got the Avengers one, though. He's got the Avengers one. 
Africa to America. He's, he's got that kind of style, man. That's his Believe. small style. Yeah, right I know Josh is watching as well. Big up Josh, man. Believe Africa. Yeah, yeah if, big you know, up, if you don't know, then um, get to know people. But listen, we, how many super chats we got left? What's what's the time? One hour twenty five, eight point two k. Listen, I last know. year when City won the league, yeah, um, and the treble, Saeed went to fucking Wakanda. So where are you going through, Ad, if uh, oh, Arsenal win the league? The moon. The moon. I will not be on this planet. The moon. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting on Richard Man's Branson. Gonna, man's he's, man's he's gonna get in now, touch with. All right, he's gonna get in touch with Elon Musk. <laughs> he's gonna say, yeah. yeah I'm getting that Neuralink. Put me on a spaceship. I'm out of here. How old are you, Fuad? Hergeisa, Hergeisa. How old are you, Fuad? I want no internet. I don't want no TV. I don't want no technology, brother. Get me back on a farm or something herding goats, please. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did, man. There was no, no internet. I was in the forest, man. I was in the Karuna forest. No internet, no nothing. You know what I mean? So I didn't see anything. That's Any parade, no nothing. That's Fuad, mean. how old are you? I'm, I'm an old head. Old so you, 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 you went through our school then, huh? You went through our school then. Oh yeah, 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 and, and I ain't since. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this is nothing. This, this is nothing. If you, you know when you're it, young, no? like, you know when you're young, it's like you, you don't even really fully grasp it. If that makes sense. Now I feel like it would hurt a lot more, and with all the shit I've I told, know, I this chat is crazy. <laughs> I got too much dirt on my name. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are we? JC says, if Arsenal uh, win the league, I'm dropping a bag off to Skull and locking him in a room and letting him work his magic until he drops a movie on the rivals. And Jmon says, just so you know, orcas hunt sharks, Steve. Orcas hunt sharks. You man got orcas in your in your badge or something. I don't know. I don't the know. Arsenal orcas. <laughs> Why do you say that randomly? <laughs> he's trying to think of what eats sharks in it. Obviously, if he's a shark, you need that. You're not going to say, well, what, what, uh, I don't know what well, other animal going to say, but yeah, cannon, isn't it? cannon blows off a shark, isn't it? Looks <laughs> like the orcas are circling, bro. The orcas, the orcas are circling. It just doesn't hit the same. You might not finish. You're not going to win this. <laughs> you're not even marketing the thing properly. You're not going to win this title. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not marketing it <laughs> you're not creating a vibe <laughs> oh it's all mad all right listen people apologies i'm not going to be able to get any more super chats on that subject in at this moment in time because we still got three fixtures to talk about and um hope you enjoyed the the little cameo from babs as well because i know babs got a lot of love when he came on last time there was a few comments telling it you know telling us that they'd like to see him again tonight considering kai scored the winner four games four goals in a row now so yeah, hope you enjoyed people. Um next one. Probably Tottenham smoking a villa. Of yeah, Tottenham yeah. Ad. From from thinking about paying to talking about potential potential what with yeah, with Tottenham right now. I mean, I haven't spoken to you in a little while, but are you still confident with the whole it must be with the top four thing now? Yeah, to be fair, I, I always kind of said it from around January. I feel like we've done enough in the first half of the season to be able to secure Champions League football. It's just a case of not falling off the pack too too far, if that makes sense. But this was almost like a six-pointer. I think Villa at home as well, everyone thought it was going to be kind of a tough fixture. But last week on FCM, I was telling them, brother, we got something prepared for them boys there. And bro... 4-0, for me, that is a statement win. And that second half performance was a statement performance, honestly. And even prior leading to the game, like the reason why I had so much confidence going into it was knowing that Villa have obviously got that Europa League midweek game. Ollie Watkins played a full game and I mm. saw Ajax actually play very well against them. And I thought, you know what? If Ajax, who this season aren't really at their best, can really give them a game like that, bro, there's no way we don't cook them. So... The first half, when I saw the lineup, I thought, you know what? We got a chance. For... Poro was back. Destiny was back. Van der Ven, uh, Romero back line. So you're thinking, listen, we should be able to deal with someone like Watkins, a Diaby, a Bailey. But first half, same again as it was. Kind of no shots on target, keeping a lot of the possession, creating a lot, but not being able to kind of really get that killer instinct off. But the second half is, I feel like, where we just almost turned the screws and woke up. And I have to give massive credit to Ange Postacoglu because so many times this season, we've seen our team kind of 
come out of the first half and not really be at the races in the final third. But the way he's always able to get a reaction in the second half, and within eight minutes, bro, we were we were two nil up. Like I, at halftime, I went to go and make a, a tea goal toilet quickly. I come back with they score two goals. I said, "Ra, let me run this back." But it was it was the quality of the goals. Well. I think Pape saw one of the most. You were talking about underrated players before earlier, Grizz, and I think for me, he is one of the most underrated players this season. Honestly, like for how young he is, for kind of. Mm -hmm. The role he's come into play as well. I don't think anybody starting this season would have expected him to kind of take to the role like a duck to water. Benton has been struggling to get back inside, but the guy is always in the right place at the right time, on the ball and off the ball. So for me, the assist, the assist for that Madison was just almost like a rah, you know what? Icing on the cake, do your yeah. thing. And Madison now back amongst the goals as well, got an assist last game. I know when he came back from injury the first week or two, people wanted to talk crazy and talk about, oh, is medicine the same? Uh, what happened to the form <laughs> of the season? I was that injured for two months, bro. Would you have to come straight back in and start killing it? Nah, but now you're starting to for that. And i, I, I got to give massive bro, that was to to Samuel Min as well. For me, I feel like, similar to like Virgil van Dijk at Liverpool, Leader. them getting the armband this season, I feel like has just taken their game and the responsibility they have in the team to another level. The two assists, perfect. The goal, yeah. perfect. And it's like every time he plays, I feel like there's a leader there leading the front line. I know I have a finisher there scoring the goal. So for me, as someone who last year, me and Tobes would have both told you, bro, I think we've seen the best of Son and his best years are behind him. And especially as a winger. Yeah. But then this summer when Harry Kane left, you thought, okay, you know what? Maybe move him into the middle. Maybe we can still get a little something out of him. So he's been leading that front line like crazy. Credit to him. I thought it was an incredible performance. And for me as a Spurs fan, it just kind of game in hand now. I think two points behind Villa. Yeah. I feel like, listen, 10 games to go. This is where I want to be. And, and, and the thing is, is people are thinking, oh, we've got Liverpool, City and uh, Arsenal still to come. For you me, got three winnable. Three yeah, winnable for that. At the start of the season, when we had that early crazy run as well, mm -hmm. when we had the injury spell in the middle of the season, I want to see this team go through these tests. I don't want no easy ride. I really want to see them get tested. I want to see Ange get tested. I want to see how he reacts. And every test we've kind of had along this season, we've handled it okay. So for me, back end of the season now, I'm expecting us to just finish the job, get top four, successful season for us, in my do opinion. You, do you take Villa seriously? I mean, it's funny because now you just played them and battered them. So now, but they're your competitors for the, no. for the spot. What do you mean? Do I take them like, seriously? Do you take I, them, like, do you worry about them for the fourth spot? Or, yeah, of course. Or, of course, bro. Oh, they've shown this season that they're a solid team. Like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? They, mm -hmm. they as much as people can kind of laugh at Una and be like, oh, he's bottled this, he's bottled that before. For me, I still think they've got quality in that team. Watkins has been on crazy form this season. So the fact that we shut him up, for me, it was just like, hey, job well done, lads. They went with a back five, man. They went with a back... I know they wanted to give you some sort of respect to that, but I don't know, man. Listen, it's funny enough you say that, yeah, because I'm just glad Toby's not here today, man, because he would have been unsufferable. We were talking about comparing teams, you know, the cons that I was rating, and I was trying to prop up. He made a mistake. McGinn, head loss. You know what I mean? It's crazy. You survived. Man. Toby McGinn would have loss. smashed you to bits today. Because we you, like, Bro, you would have... Yo... <laughs> He right, was right, 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 right. What's up? Talk to me, Grizz. So, 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 yeah, <laughs> go on, go on. But go so basically, we were talking about the squads, yeah, and we were saying, yo, I, listen, I think Spurs got a good squad, but I think 11, I think they can match you. I think they got a decent defence. I thought midfield, they can get at you. I thought Konza would get in ahead of Romero in a combined 11. Obviously, you know what I mean? Konza did a mistake, and uh, you know what I mean? You Romero still, did you still that smelly Romero agenda? <laughs> well, it's not a, listen, it's not a Romero agenda. I'm saying, you've never heard that he said Conza was better you know, on the last show. I'm That's saying, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a chance now to give it up and just. Be I heard Conza was better. No, on the no, last I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I, I got my game. Lips off. Just say, I got my. No, lips no, 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 no. It was nice while it was no, fun. No, but Romero. Uh, now we're going to carry on. No, it is here. It's not a Romero agenda. It's just that I feel like there's elements of this game that I feel like people don't don't catch up on. That's all it is. What did you, know, you say in the last show? Did I you think say Conza was better? He put, no, we put him in the combined, combined 11. Yeah, I put him, him ahead of him. I put him ahead of him. That's all no, it is. Put him lost. ahead of him. But, I, I, but the thing is, though, Conza is so underrated, man. People don't rate Conza like that. Conza is a good defender, man. He just had a bad game. Just like Conza. Conza is a good defender. 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 This is why you bust your ankle, bro. <laughs> Things like that. Yeah. Concert over Romero. Foolish boy. Listen. Nah, but you know what it is? 
<laughs> it, it was one of them. It, 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 you know what's the worst thing? Yeah, everything that like, in that moment I was like, shit. When I see the fans, I was like, shit, man. <laughs> Why did it have to be you? Could have been anyone. Paul yeah. Torres. Anybody else? Hey, you know what? You got big up. You got Damn. big up Spurs. You got big up Spurs. Spurs limit no, them to I, I no chances. No, not, not, but not only in this win. game. Not in the old. We, yeah. we, you know, when they had the few injuries and then Son was away and a couple of players in the Afcon, yeah. and he had to battle through that period. Um, and mm. he's come out of it, and now he's got his players back, and he didn't change his formation. He didn't change his style. He didn't change his way of playing, and he's instilled it throughout the squad. And this is why we cuss certain other managers that they haven't done this. They haven't, they haven't Find deployed. The they, mm. they haven't, they haven't. None of the other managers that we cuss on a weekly basis have given their team an identity. Like Angers already given them an identity. And now that they got their players back mm. from injury, from Afcon, from the Asia Cup, they're playing the same way before they left, and it's instilled in them. And dare I say it? Dare I say it? Not looking Spursy anymore, but just oh. like we said about yo, Arsenal, yo, hold yo, on. Yo, chill, no, 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 hold, hold on, don't hold on. Let me land. Let me land. Okay, okay, Leo. Okay, let me land. No, 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 no. Let me land. No, 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 no. It's a clip. None of you, none of you, look. Know where I'm going with this? Let me land. What I'm saying is hundred percent. I don't think they're looking Spursy right now, but just like we. Over Chelsea statement. Just like we just like we discussed Arsenal's run in and Havertz and now where it counts, this is the Spursy last ten games where where usually in years gone by, in decades gone by, they show themselves. So if they want to get rid of that tag, the next ten games, they must they must <laughs> finish above Aston, Unai Emery, and Villa and them. They must. That's what Come I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen, man. They must. They, they must. I knew they There's I, no I knew excuses. they were going to win, man. I, I had, a, had a feeling that they had the belief going there. I knew they'd win that game, man. And I think for me, the midfield, man, I think, listen, Benton caught Madison. I don't know, man. Sometimes it can be a clash of the same kind of, you know, game or what. I think Saar complements it better with the box-to-box run. So, now nah, listen, man. Tottenham are going to do their thing. The Tottenham's next three fixtures are quite winnable as well. They got Luton. I think they've got you know who else? Have you got like winnable games Luton, the next three, and then it gets and then it gets the next three after it gets difficult. So Pulling yeah, man. Luton. Tottenham are doing their thing. Yeah, doing our thing, man. Yeah. Easy three points at Villa Park. You know, slight work, man. I was pissed mm-hmm. with Villa, man. Second half. How can you do that? Oh, Villa stink, man. Fuck Capitulation, man. Now nah, you know what? You know who's killed the bus, man. You know who's the biggest dud in that game as well, actually, John McGinn, bro. Because the day yeah. before, yeah, I know game, he was talking Head about this being the biggest game in Villa's recent history. Blah 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 blah. And then you go and get yourself sent off with a dumb challenge. Bro. It's a head loss, basically, uh, bro. Stupid, stupid decision for me. And then you cost your team there, bro. We we just put them on toast after that. Safe. Mm. <laughs> Easy three <laughs> points. See what. Super chats have come in earlier. King Rio said, Can someone tell me what the hell Fuad knows about business end of the season? Man, like you need to know your place, fam. Behave. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> I will be there. Joe says, I decide the seriousness of predictions by how loudly people speak. And judging by Fuad's box, man's not surprised by his takes. Also, big up Babs. Who has <laughs> building quite a reputation. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> myself. We got the FCM pod as well over on DR Sports people. Fuad's got his own channel. Um, are you still doing stuff on your channel, right? Or yeah, here and there. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I, so back soon, back soon, back soon. Watch the oh, playlist, sure, man. Watch the playlist. Sure, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the playlists are building, but the yes, coming back soon. <laughs> <laughs> As I scroll up, I can't really. Nah, there's no more. On, there's no more on Tottenham from earlier, and there's no ones that have come in new. Nope, nope. All right, cool. Let's move it. Let's move I don't it. Don't want to give us any praise, man. Come on, man. You know the drill. Can we just <laughs> no. say, Turkish? Yeah. Can we yeah. just say yeah. that uh, nobody watching this show works for the benefits office. So Saeed 
Take the crutch out of the fucking view, mate. You're not getting your benefits to man. Move, <laughs> yeah. move well, we benefits, man. You believe the <laughs> anchor, man. You know you're claiming benefits. Yeah, yeah. And then later on, we get off the you know what I'm We need this, man. Move the crutch, man. Well, it's good there, the most show. Me, what, what, we know the game. One hour, 40 minutes. Stop, <laughs> you can't stop, stop, <laughs> you can't stop, 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 you're getting a pit payment. We know the game. Don't put the crutch there. You don't need to put the crutch there. You don't need to put the crutch in there. He said, we know the game. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> nah, man. Listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what we payment? out here, man. Wait, what payment? What's, it, what's that payment? <laughs> Never mind. You, see, you don't practice the payment. What's that? Yo, yo. Straight, I suddenly caught my you're attention. <laughs> <laughs> what payment, Steve? What's that, Mr. Steve? What's that? The community, hey, the community man's on every payment. Let me say that. He's well known in Lumen. <laughs> <laughs> Next show, Grizz is going to have an ambulance outside behind him. Grizz yeah, just dashes himself down, down the stairs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Next one up. Oh, United win was dead. Chelsea 3 2, Newcastle. Everyone, I, I was the only one that predicted the Chelsea win. So, Matisse, as well as everyone else, mo Ooh. mostly in draws. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a reverse psychology thing. It's it's um it's a new tactic of mine. It's um yeah, what can I say? Um fighting for my life on the overlap. Do you know what I mean? With Steve they didn't even want to debate me. That's when I realized how irrelevant we are now. You know what I mean? I just said my piece for two minutes, they just kept it moving, didn't even have nothing to say, no retorts, nothing. So yeah, long. Um but listen, it's 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 tenth versus eleventh. We don't move position, but to to remove myself from all of that because it's always depressing. I must say, some certain individuals in this team they really don't deserve to be where we are. Marlo Gusto, quality player, quality quality right back. Like everybody's talking about their right backs, Ben White, you know Benjamin, Tan Man, um, you know Trent, you know Pedro Poro, all these man, cool quality Connor, players. But Connor Gusto, Bradley. Bradley, of course, yeah, two two for two over there. Okay, but Gusto. Baller, proper, proper player, man. Good going forward, good defensively. Um, Palmer again, quality today, you know, gets the assist, gets the goal, tallies man, really leading the team this season, taking responsibility. Um, and and he kind of showed up Sterling because they're both playing on opposite flanks, and we're seeing Sterling again drop a nasty stinker. And it's time for Mudrick to start. I'm afraid it's time. I've been mm -hmm. quiet, I've been calm, I've been patient because. Mudrick is not someone that I was, you know, falling over for trying to have him in the team every week because of the price tag. I'm not, you know, I, I don't have favorites. I just want wins right now. Anybody can get it. But Mudrick, the way he came on in 10 minutes and, and done more than Sterling in, in, in the whole game, um, it, it it's definitely got to be noted down now for the next match against Leicester. And Mud Mudrick's got to start. He's played the 10 couple, last couple matches he's played and he's now got a goal again and he's, He's he's just driving into the box with the speed and listen. I don't know what to make of this player. You know, like I said, I didn't want him. I, I think he should have been, you know, half the price he we paid. But there's something there. But I don't know what's going to come of it. He's got a few attributes that I like, and then other times he looks like as if he doesn't know what he's doing. So I just want to see him get an opportunity now, get a, get a start, get a run of games. I think he deserves it every single time he he comes. And impacts the game he's benched the next and it's not like sterling's given us any guarantees he had another opportunity today to score um doesn't have his head up no awareness again doesn't take his chance he doesn't particularly give you any guarantees on the tracking back so for me it's only fair just meritocracy um and yeah man jackson again jackson scores lovely little flick for the goal some people will will, will say it was a fluke i don't know i don't really care gets the goal wonderful performance do you know what I mean put the shift in hold hold up the ball really well um really good link up guy again so there's a couple players that yeah I'm really happy with um and yeah man this is what we're doing we're just we're just going game to game I'm not going to take any any extras from it because anything can happen it's it's literally just game by game Leicester now in in Leicester's the big game on Sunday we've got FA Cup we could go to Wembley again um, which is wild, doesn't make no sense, but this is the situation. We could go to Wembley again and they, these guys got opportunity to get over the get over their um their 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 fears, you know what I mean? And um try and get fancy to another final. So fancy playing us again? No, 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 no. If you could stay well away from me um in this competition, much appreciated. Yeah, don't don't go anywhere. Don't, okay, <laughs> don't leave me alone. <laughs> leave me. <laughs> Man, bro, man, leave you know. me alone, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. You, leave me alone. Bro, I'm being serious. I'd rather be in the city. 
I'd actually rather play City. Not even a disrespect team because we drawn against you twice. I just want to play anyone else but Liverpool now. I'm done. Like, leave me alone, bro. Like, stop following us. Go away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go and do something else. Leave us alone. Done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, let me check if there's any super chats on Chelsea because I think I saw a couple coming with your name mentioned. Guna San says, Matisse saw from Fabrizio saying that Chelsea willing to sell 15 players in the summer. Who would you personally get rid of? How long we got? I mean, that that's <laughs> probably the worst thing you could do is sell 15 players because that means all those players need replacing and that means another um, incredible amount of players coming in and that's, a, that's the wrong approach. Um, Lukaku, Ziyech, Kepa, out. Um, Malang Sar, out. Um, and then after that, you know, it's it's down to the manager's discretion and who who is the manager. We don't even know. So there's no point in me reeling off first teamers that have probably only been here for a year and a half um, because I don't know who the manager is. I don't know what the system's going to be. I don't know what I formation is going to be. All those men that you've mentioned are on loan. They're still yeah, yeah, yeah. I just get them all yeah, gone, yeah, man. Yeah. They're all you on high wages. They're all not needed. Mess. Get Pasadena them all gone, and all them. Man. You lot are gone. such a mess. Listen, I just yeah, realized yeah. all those men are still out on loan. Yeah, get them, get them man yeah, gone. Man. Yeah, get them man gone. Glad and then after that, man. we go, we go from there. Ster Sterling is the one that is really, really starting to annoy people. He's on high wages. He's not consistent. He's not really a team player at times as well. With the lack of awareness, yeah. it's almost like he's got an incredible goal bonus because the guy, three v ones, two v ones, he doesn't pass. Um, and if we're going, if remember. we're going with these new wage restrictions, then why is he paid three hundred k a week? To not deliver? I didn't want him, Steve. I never, I never no wanted way, him, no Steve. I Listen, never wanted him. I, I wanted Jesus. Is it? You know what? Raheem Sterling's a weird, weird player. You know what? He's he, he, he done great things for clubs he's played at and that, but no club has ever really fell in love with him. Liverpool never did. He come to City. We never did. And then he's gone to Chelsea and they never did. He's he just like, I don't, you know, when it, pl certain players have a connection with fans and with a club and you love them and they're like a cult hero. For what he did at Manchester City, City fans should hold him in high esteem. You mentioned Raheem Sterling to City fans now and no one really gives a shit. You know what I mean? And he's sad. He's sad. Mm. People got more respect for Cole Palmer than Raheem Sterling. And that's saying something. You know what I mean? But it's just his personality, the way he is. He's very distant and... But I, I'm surprised to hear. I don't watch Chelsea. You know what I mean. I'm surprised to hear that. But I, oh, I've seen it a so... few times this weekend. People saying Sterling needs to go, man. Do you know what it is, Steve? It's like if we're on a project or a process or whatever, and we're looking at Pochettino, and he's talking about long term. We want to see the players that are going to be there for the the end of that hit playing and developing, like Mudrik. We've already invested in Madrid. Mm. We've already put the, the 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 money into him. We don't know what he's going to be, but we you know may as well see him if he's going to be around. Sterling is not in for the long haul because by the time we get to wherever we're going, he's not going to be of any use to us. So it's like I get having experience and leadership and balance in the squad, but he doesn't bring leadership and he's not bringing that that calm head in the final third to pick out his teammates. The the same leadership that Son is bringing for Tottenham, selfless. Team player, mm. laid it up on a plate for his teammates on the weekend, just gone. Has been doing it all season. Calm head. Sterling's not given that. He's erratic. So it's like, you're not even bringing your experience to the table. So for me, it's just, it's it's frustrating, man. It's frustrating. Um, Saudi Arabia, isn't it? Saudi Arabia, isn't it? I don't, think he'll, go, yeah. I don't yeah. think he'll go there anyway. I think he'll, I think we're screwed, to be honest. But it is what it is. We just need him to perform. A couple yeah. super chats cool. in. Um, Jay Mon says, even if Mudrick isn't great, it's time to just play him and develop him. We know what Chelsea are going to get from Sterling. And Morton earlier said, Matisse, it's not six goals. Darwin's total, 16 goals, 12 assists in the Premier League, 10 and 8. We weren't talking about Darwin. We were talking about um, Diaz. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> same thing. Same thing. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lucy. I didn't see this earlier. Still need to beat Chelsea at the bridge. Romero has four yellows, one red. He's not as bad as some people think. We haven't lost with the full squad. Big up, big up. Like I said, I'm, uh, there's definitely going to be a fair few Super Chats missed tonight. Um, apologies about that. Sometimes, you know, it gets like that. Um, and with the subject matters and, you know, the cameo from Babs and whatnot, the show has to take priority, but still appreciate you lot, you know, the same way. Um, all right. I mean, Man United, Saeed, is there much to play? Yeah, not a lot to talk. Know? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to bore you to death. It wasn't a great game. You know I mean? I didn't even go to the game and I was, um, yeah, man. Was an entertaining game. We got two penalties. 
And then, yeah, Everton really should have got something in the second half. I mean, they had some good opportunities or whatnot. They just got to finish their dinner, man. They had the same amount of shots, I think, against West Ham as well, but they couldn't finish their dinner as well there. Yeah, man, not great. I can't lie. Not great at all. I think the biggest game for Ten Hag is on the weekend, man, against Liverpool. Loses that and then it's surely but going to be sacked at the end of the season. But yeah, man, not great. If I'm being honest with you, not really much to talk about. Garnacho, just to give positive mentions to him, man. I know he gets a lot of flack in the fan base, but he's his endeavour. He's um, is something that needs to be praised, man. You know what I mean? He's the only threat in that in that middle part. I think Johnny Evans, fair play. Varane, a lot of people think he's washed, but he, again, still shining above others. So, yeah, defensively, I think we're, we're good. It's just that midfield and attack. It's not ruthless enough, man. So, yeah, man, not a lot to talk on United, man. It's just quite boring at the minute, man. It's not very enjoyable, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, so, looking yeah, at every, it, everyone. Not a great game. Not a great game, man. Looking at everyone else on the panel as well, everyone's looking away, so we might as well keep it moving. Um, <laughs> yeah, everyone literally just tuned that. Um, <laughs> Steve, look where Steve's sitting, man. The guy just turned Steve, oh, Steve, trying to, trying to, trying to move away. We're in that's just um, my light up when we said United. <laughs> Uh, we've got about oh, five crazy. minutes to go, Max. Five minutes to go, Max. I'm just going to get a few more super chats in, people, because I don't feel right that we've got so many and we haven't brought them in. Doan says, big up the legendary panel. Greatest show on YouTube. Eight we eight wins in a row. Most goals scored. Best defence. Being the underdogs all the way suits us more. Well, now, now we're top of the table. So um, we move. We move. Let me see what other super chats I've missed here. Um, come on, Sador says my Somali brothers on the same show. Saeed's club stinks, by the way. Does Steve know he looks like Varys from Game of Thrones? <laughs> Mate, when oh, I was in Saudi Arabia, yeah, in Saudi, all the Saudis were calling me that. All of them, they must Swear. watch it like crazy. Varys, Varys. Serious to me, <laughs> serious. Man. It was all on me, like my wow. man. That. That <laughs> I've just seen it now because I don't really watch Game of Thrones, yeah. man. But Good fuck, job. you know. Arsenal better not win at the Etihad, you... boy. I can see some costumes coming out. <laughs> I can't lie to you, Grizz. I found I found someone of you the other day. You know, someone sent me one, and it looks spitting image of Grizz. I swear down. If I we need that, yo, we need that. I listen. Someone sent it me, but we'll see. Oh, Crazy, no, 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 no. big up Ali G as well. He says, "Please ask bottom left to explain." Arsenal competing while, according to him, they have no world-class players and their manager is not as good as Emery, Poch or Ten Hag. He, quote, missed this super chat when hosted. Oh, I saw I saw Matisse earlier on, on weekend um, roundup or preview, whichever one it was, saying that AGT was missing super chats about Liverpool. Is this what you're doing well, as well, as, as you know, as a host on the Big Six, we get many super chats. It's very difficult to get all of them in that on time. I... You know, we had a, we had a very, very, very emotional panel that well. day. Nothing is done by on you know nothing is done on purpose. We had a very emotional, Are you sure panel. About that one? very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I say, do you want to host next time? No. Okay. Sure. sure. No, I'm just um, saying so, because normally uh, you read it, you read the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I like Arsenal's team in terms of like I rate their players. You know, uh, um, it's just to be world class, you have to deliver in the big moments. Champions League last, you know, last latter stages, um, Premier League when it matters, which you haven't done yet. So unless you want me to give you the tag early just because you want validation, you know, you should just win something serious and then we can just give you the tag. That's, that's what it is. It's not that deep. You just have to wait. Be patient. Don't, 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 don't ask. Just wait. Don't deep. ask. <laughs> when your channel gets locked off where we win the league or something, then where, where, where are people <laughs> going to find you, bro? Where are people going to find you? <laughs> I'll be in Cuba, mate. I'll be in Cuba. <laughs> First super chat ever. Big up B-Day. <laughs> really appreciate the big six's chemistry and knowledge. It helped me learn more about the sport over the last year. And now it's a part of my weekly routine. Come on. Love from Dallas, Texas. Oh, big up, man. Big up, man. Yeah. Hopefully we can meet up in America one day when, we, when we're next over there or depending on what team we support, pre-season tours and whatnot. Um, where are we? Big up Lee Slims. Why do Arsenal fans do this main character syndrome thing? Can't we... Arsenal fans just move in silence and see where we are come April. <laughs> I know some is bants, but fans paint the biggest targets on us. Lee, I'm with Big you. Up, you know me. You, up, yeah, me. you've watched me for a while now. Um, but there are, and I, I was about to say pockets of fans, but they, you know, there's a lot of fans that you know want to get carried away, and I get it. 
I understand, you know, it is what it is. I used to be like that once upon a time. Um, but until we actually get over the line and so, and I can't get carried away, been through too much pain and, and you know, been dwelling in too much mud for too long that, you know, a bit of PTSD. So let, let us get over the line. Let us get over the line. And then you'll see, you'll see Irish London. That, that, that's what <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Yo. Oh, Imagine you change your channel name to that. That would be wild. <laughs> it might have to be. Um, I want to see that, you know. You need to go by that name for the for the whole year if you win the league. <laughs> bro, it'd be a different me, bro. Different me. King Harry says, Saeed, get well soon, bro. And big up Big Steve. Always a pleasure seeing a foundation Big Six representative coming back. Foundation indeed. Big part of why the big six are where we are, regardless of Steve not being a consistent part of it anymore. Um, but he's still here. He's still going to be featuring a hell of a lot. So big up big Steve. Go follow his channel. Subscribe to him as well. His socials. He's doing big things. So show him some love. Um, he's definitely kicked on. I'm going to get a couple more in. SC Guna saying this whole time I thought I was a member. I'm now, I am now and finally catching the absolute best show live. Big up Turkish and crew. It only opened the other day, SC. So big up. Love for the love. Ali EM says big up the panel. As the holy month of Ramadan starts, just want to say free Palestine. Rest in power to all the martyrs and solidarity to all oppressed people around the world. Resistance yeah. is existence. 100% Ali. Um, 100%. Um, refreshing as well, especially coming from you where you can put the football banter aside because you're a big part of the show as well in the chat with your super chat. So... 100% the message, loud and clear. Um, big up everyone. Still here. And I, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end on that one there. Actually, Jimbo here says, big up the boys as usual. Watching this from the beginning, from now, but wanted to support the show. Became a member of stream as well. Was so hyped to see it. Love, guys. Hyped to see Big Steve. Come on. Love for the love, people. 55. Big up, like, I have to apologize once again. We won't be able to get it in, but we're coming up to two hours. It's half past 12 here in, in London or in the UK, wherever we are tuning in from or, you know, Manchester and Stockport and, and Luton and so on. Um, so we've got to call it a night. It's a late one, but still appreciate it same way. It goes back into the content same way. Show some love to Manscaped. TB620 is the code if you want to utilize 20% off. Uh, make sure you do that before the end of March, people. Sooner the better. They show us love. You know, you show them love. It all works. Swings and roundabouts. Steve, love as always, my bro. Um, hope to see you, you on again soon. Remind the people, Steve's on my channel once a week, every week now. Title Talk with James Redmond. We're due to do one probably end of this week sometime after Arsenal Porto. So if you want to hear more from Steve, his channel, and also my channel, make sure you're there. Fuad, big up. Let them know, man. FCM Pod, your channel yeah. coming back. Anything else cooking? No, that's it, to be fair. Uh, FCM, uh, on my channels, on the socials, all the same name. So, yeah, catch Come me there. On. Big up. Love for um, filling in as well. Matisse, Grizz, always, Saeed, always. love as always. Um, Come on, man. Actually, quick one, Grizz. Thursday night, 10.30, is that all right? Because your match finishes at around 10, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And 30. All right, people. 10.30 Thursday. Might be five, 10 minutes. Don't find me. Don't take... Well, you yeah, can take points yeah, yeah, of me. It don't mean no, shit. No. It don't mean shit. Take points of me. In fact, kick me out. No, no, no. no. Kick me out of the league. I forgot, people. 6.7k still here. Here's the update. No, no, wow. pick me out the league. Whoa, the league. Boy. When is this brother gonna hit 100 points? Actually, no, I lied. What's I lied. Problem? I lied. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> brother, <laughs> uh. that was last. <laughs> brother, <laughs> uh. brother, <laughs> uh. brother, <laughs> uh. <laughs> brother, uh. <laughs> brother, <laughs> 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 Oh, he's hit it. Shut up. Oh, Shut hey, up. Seven points behind. Oh, Shut up. Closing in. <laughs> Closing in. Uh, Three so... point bigger. Bro, how can you have five correct scores all season, bro? Look at everybody else. It's mad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, people, audio listeners, Grizz has hit 100 points. He's still last. Hughes next up, 112. Matisse on 116 in fourth. I've got 120 in third. Saeed one point ahead, 121. And Tobe still in the lead, 128. So, yeah, there, there it is, people. Um, On that note, love for the love. Hit the like button on the way out. We're closing in on 3K, so make sure that happens. Show the love to the individual channels below. below and make sure you're there Thursday, 10.30, where we'll be the preview of the FA Cup weekend. Love for the love, we're at peace.